All right, that's us going out live for first shot of I Expect You to Die on PlayStation 4 Pro PSVR. I think we're going out live. Nice. So we're going to go motion controller, I think. So I've had this quite a while. It was really far down the folder. Shell Games presents. Wow. You must think you're so clever. I promise you, agent. Can't escape me for oh. <laughs> We're playing a game you take from me, I take from you. Wow. But every game ends, and when this one is through, I expect you to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. When you finally see the worst side of me, will finally be eye to eye. I expect you to die. Incredible titles. That voice in your <laughs> Anthony Daniels. They only enslave you. You're a piece on a board. I bet with my wealth, my armies of dreams. You're every success. Unveil still greater schemes. A lake full of acid, a drill from the sky. If you try to fight me, we'll watch your hopes die. Lasers and sockets with sharks on standby. You to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. When you finally see the worst side of me, will finally be eye to eye. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to. Expect you to die. That was amazing. What an intro. <laughs> that was so good. Right. Welcome to the Enhanced Operative Division. I am your assigned handler and support agent. We're going to be fast friends, I have no doubt. Your new implants allow you to use telekinetic abilities to manipulate the world around you. Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. Fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Try <laughs> leaning left. Sometimes our agents need to lean both directions. Try leaning right now. Now that we're finished with calisthenics, let's move on to dexterity. The current slide illustrates how to activate switches. Shall we put it to the test? Look at the radio to your left. See if you can change the station by clicking its buttons with your index finger. I will, but I'm probably going to have to sit forward and move a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I should have done that to begin with. What a game. Make certain you are touching one of the radio buttons before clicking with your index finger. Oh well. And yes, that big boxy thing is a radio. Nice. Okay. I'll just get right in the centre so I've got more room here. Excellent. I am thoroughly confident in your button pressing ability. Your ability to push buttons is beyond reproach, Agent. But 
What about your ability to pick things up? <laughs> Fortunately, as the current slide shows, that talented trigger finger of yours is also helpful in grabbing things. I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up. I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors, but what the hell. Pick up the lighter on your left, then press the move button to light it. The move button is the flat, smooth button under your thumb. Use the lighter to burn the note. Use okay. the lighter to burn the note. I heard you, I heard you. Excellent. Let's practice aiming with your new telekinetic powers. Pressing the move button will activate them. The circle that appears is where you're aiming. If it turns blue, you can pick up the object in the same manner that you grab objects nearby. Pick up what we've just sent you through the door. Press move button to activate telekinesis and pick up far away objects. When you press the move button, the aiming circle that appears will turn blue over items you can interact with. Nice. The basket on the door contains a target. Aim at it and pick it up. Uh. Oh yeah. Now that you have the target, you can move it closer or further away using the small buttons towards the outside of the controller. Try bringing the target closer to your desk. Release the move button and use the buttons on the outside of the controller. Well, so it has to be... Oh. You're a natural. While still holding the target, Ooh. move your thumb to press the hover button Ooh. shown on the slide. The target will hover in the air. Try hovering the target over the fake plant to your left. I might have hover it above that, yeah. That's not right, is it? While holding the target, press... Well done. I wish we could afford real plants, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to, well, everything else. <laughs> now, try to hover another target over the chair in front of you. Okay. Let go and move. Bring it towards me. Excellent work. Let's try one more if you're feeling frisky. Hover the third target over the round table to your right. Okay. I can do that. Oh no, the, the table. Training slide Sorry. depicts which button you can use. Well placed. Now, there's only one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two if you count placing them. Pick up the gun and try shooting a target by pressing the move button with your thumb. Uh, remember use hand objects. Okay. To use an object you are holding, press the move button. Just to remind you, the move button is the broad flat button under your thumb. That use is. that gun to shoot a target. Or we won't give you real bullets for your field missions. Great shot. Now, try to shoot another target. You're being graded. Only one target left. Will you pass this rigorous test? <laughs> Opening drawers and compartments will be instrumental in navigating the various desks you may encounter on your dangerous missions. In case you've forgotten how to grab, the training slide should serve as a great reminder. Grab the top drawer handle to your right and pull it open. It contains more details about your implants you may want to read later. Nice. Good to see you, Cuffy. Cheers for tuning in. Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide rail from the projector after you retrieve your new mission from the door. After I retrieve my new mission from the door. Right. I'm going to try and recalibrate the to other one. To unlock the training feel... slides, grab your first mission from the door. You off center slightly. That's better. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Cheers for tuning in. You should have seen the intro for this. Incredible. So, uh, new missions will arrive through the door. Let's get it. Use my powers. Nice. Ah, yeah, good. Got a day off today, so. Gonna play games well all day. Done. Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, 
put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. There's the opening credits there. I'm glad you can watch them again. What is all that stuff in there? Well done. Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, should probably put that out. I'll stop messing about now. I just wanted to see what else was in there. Right, let's go for it. Or do you want me to put this one in there? Class. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes, and cars in airplanes. Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. <laughs> Press the start button to begin your mission. Okay, okay. This should be exciting. It's no bother, just drive the baddie's car out of his plane. What are you moaning about? <laughs> Faulty cannon reset system on. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. Right, we need a, a screwdriver then. This is three of three though, doesn't it? There's going to be another hang. <laughs> it is, I think it's Anthony Daniels. I think it's C-3PO. It may be his name, but I've seen his name in the credits. I'm just pushing buttons now. Does the game want me to push buttons, do you think? There's a cigar, at least we can do that. At least we can get that on the go. There we go. <sighs> you know, smoking may cause a slow and painful death. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a cigar. What is that? Can I do something with that? Put the cigar in there? <laughs> right, so we've got the key, right? I mean, that's easy enough. You put the key in. Turn the car on. Weapons offline. Weapons offline. Weapons offline. How about this one? Next message. So, there is a scan failed. Targeting. Is that me getting killed? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Cause of death. <laughs> Laser blast. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. <laughs> this is why I can't drive yet. That keeps happening to me. Right. What did I learn there? I learned that there's a cigar. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. <laughs> Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. That's, yeah. Same coffee, man. That's what I'm to. Oh, upside down. That's what keeps happening to me. I sit down, and then they're like, you know... Check whatever this bit's called again. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Sun visor? How to arm your bomb? Bomb armed. <laughs> Murder signal. <laughs> Let's just start bringing things. Oh, right, we've got a knife. Uh, could we use that as a screwdriver? I've seen you do many creative things with a knife, but mm. I don't think turning screws will be among them. Okay, okay. Right, what about this then? Zoraxis Model Z. New features. Auto-deploy parachute included. See, that's good. 
parachute will happen. I think I could use the lighter on the on these. That's not going to help me, is it? Why do I think that would help? I just burn out all the instructions, right? I mean, I can still read that a wee bit, kinda. <laughs> I don't need no help. Oh no, that looks quite complicated actually. I probably should have been paying attention to that. Okay, we need a screwdriver. There's some money in there. There's nothing up here. There's a key there. I don't want to bring that down because it was at me. Now what? I'll put the fire away. Intruder detected. No. I for retina scan. no. Scan failed. Targeting. Targeting what? Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. What's the other countermeasure? <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. A bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, oh, sugar. but you must respect the classics. So. I believe diffuse. You'll need to cut those wires, agent. Okay. Cut this one first. Uh, blue second. No ticking is good ticking, as they nice. say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? Uh, yeah. No, I'm up for it. I've survived all the traps. Uh, what about this? It's saying faulty cannon. Faulty cannon reset system. It's, it's that thing, isn't it? I shouldn't have burnt it. I should not have set fire to it. Is the gear stick a screwdriver? You know what? No, no, it's not. <laughs> you had me there, I was like, for a second, I think he's got it. By Jove. There's a gun in the back. Keep forgetting, see in VR you can just turn around into Diana. Oh, sugar. Can you fire this gun? Oh wow. Oh, deadly poison gas. No, of course. Of course, no, I should have thought about that. I should have thought. Poison gas everywhere it says. Everywhere. And I'm like, shoot out the front windscreen. <laughs> Is there a screwdriver as well? Oh, there is. How am I going to... Oh. Do I have to do it quick, though? Poison gas will get pumped in, though. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. Mm. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Do you think arsenal. this rolled down the window Naturally, a wee bit? we'd like to poke no. at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. There is a screwdriver out there. Because the cannon's faulty. Uh, and I need that. To put in the cannon. Or take out the cannon. <laughs> so the screwdriver's there. I can avoid that, that's fine. But that means as soon as I get the screwdriver... I'm going to need to... Undo all that. Without dying. And that sounds... Beyond me. What is all this? How did I not notice that? This is things for the cannon and everything, except my couch is in the way, so I'm gonna have to sit forward. <laughs> right, recalibrate, come on. Hey, right, that's better. Now I can reach some of this stuff. Aye! <laughs> there we go. Get that in you. This'll help. Get creative. Little early to celebrate, don't you think? No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do alright. That's me finished now. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke gas. Smoke gas every day. Uh, so there was a. There's money over there. What else is in the back? There's a gun, which probably I didn't really need. Except for him to smash that to get the screwdriver real quick. All right, I think I've discovered everything that's in the car. There might be other stuff, but I don't see any at the moment. I 
Okay, we're ready to do it. So we can get the knife out. Like the film. Knife out. And we'll put it there. I don't really need any of that yet, but it'll probably be a good idea to have it open. Let's push. What's this saying? Push the red button. And that'll make that pop out. And that's the red button on this side of the car. Maybe we should have a wee try and see if it lets us do that then, eh? No, it doesn't. Not until the car's on. So, let's get the car on. Alright, turn it on. Avoid the nightmare laser by moving over here a bit. Intruder detected. No, I'm Present not an intruder. For retina scan. No, it's okay. Get away from my eyes. Move head closer to scanner. No, that's alright. Scan avoided. Yep. Targeting. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. What was the other one? A bomb again. <laughs> oh, uh, the old oh, ticking bomb. I'm partial what to plastic it? It explosives yellow. myself, but you must respect Blue. the classics. I believe Green. diffusing bombs. No ticking ah, is good ticking, nice. as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it parachutes included, apparently. I've left it. I've made a mess here. Let's chuck all things that are irrelevant to the mission down there. I mean, we could light the dynamite. <laughs> uh, how do you do that again? Start using my telekinesis more. Getting good with the buttons now. Uh, right, that can go down there as well. We don't really need that. This we're going to need. <sighs> we're going to need it fast as well, aren't we? Offline. Why? What does this one do again? What did that one do again? I've hit that before. It didn't kill me, did it? Next message. So, there is an urgent matter we must discuss. Contact me on a secure line immediately. Maybe that's C3PO. <sighs> Uh, can I have him again? Next message. Hi, I'm looking for a doctor's door. Um, I'm sure you've been missing your tiger shark spot, and uh, we found him in our uh, girls' high school swimming pool. Um, he's about, so oh, I don't know, uh, 15 feet long, has a freaking laser strap. Oh, it does. Head, and um, the tag goes along. Uh, I need to remember the buttons. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> Survive. Yes. Copy's a genius. So mere messages. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's obvious as hell, isn't it? I've switched the car on, so now the window is open. We're just... Because we're, we're solving this right now, so we're getting a celebratory... Celebratory... Skigger. <laughs> <laughs> Cigar. Right. It is obscuring my vision for reading instructions a wee bit. Holding on to this for dear life as well. <laughs> Stogie. Uh, right. <laughs> so once once we've uh, opened that, we wrap this off of here. Ooh. And there's a master reset switch. I think we need to hit that before we can. Weapons offline. Before we can do that. And then we're going to need a a, a gas, a smoke gas uh, cannon. One of these things. Where's the red thing he's using though? What is that? Is that a wee? Oh sugar! No. <laughs> Hey, Exo Max, good to see you, man. <laughs> Just set fire to some instructions that I actually need. <laughs> good to see you, potato heat, man. <laughs> smoking does kill. Smoking's killed my ability to read what this says. Push the button and then, then put the hang in. That seems easy enough. Master reset. Don't don't reset the laser, please. Can I hit buttons being far away like that? I can. System resetting. Weapons online. 
then you hit oh yeah right and then we put that in there now what whams now we fire the gas <laughs> Fire again. This doesn't seem right, but I'm doing it three times, like. That's not done it, has it? We put other things in there. Fire like a glass. <laughs> we can, but it will only do it in. Dynamite! Fire dynamite. This seems Maybe, like, not a good idea, but let's give it a go. Light the dynamite first. <laughs> uh, right, what button was bring it towards me so I can... My stogies went out, man. Get in there. Fire. Come on. Is that going to destroy me? Did it work? Uh, none's happening. Boom! No? Alright. <sighs> uh, I was pretty sure that would have been the answer. Maybe there's something else out there. Poison gas. I don't understand. That's not working, is it? I'll put the lighter away. <laughs> Celebration is over. What's this button do? Push it away. What's this button do? Deploying scorpions. Oh, where? Where? Deploying them where? In the car? Outside? I've survived anyway, wherever the scorpion... Oh no, I see them. I see one over there. Put a scorpion in the gun? Put a gun in the gun. <laughs> They've not made this easy. They do expect me to die. Uh, maybe there's another funny Next message. message. <laughs> true. That is true, Copy. I don't know what they want me to do with I'm going to put the scorpion in there, but I feel like it will kill me immediately. We could fire more things out the gun. Like, we could put some money in the gun. We could put my cigar in the gun, but then, I mean... What am I going to do then? Alright. <laughs> that doesn't know if it. Okay. Pop the cigar back over there. Put some money in the gun. That works. That will teach Zor to use his car as a piggy bank. <laughs> oh well, uh, that'll teach him. Uh, that'll teach him when I get killed by a scorpion. That I've not been paying attention to. Has a kill effect though, so we're going to do that to all the guys' money just because I don't know how to get out. Let's just keep firing your money at the front of the car. <laughs> Hopefully, he's watching this on the camera, like, no. <laughs> uh, we we'll fired that as well. What else have we got in here? Is that more gas? Is that what's happening now? Just to keep me on my toes. <laughs> should we put the gun in there? Or should I shoot the scorpion with the gun? I shot it, but now it's... Uh, it's not there anymore. Where's the bottle? Champagne bottle. Can we fit you in there? No, we can't, but we can... Use you as a weapon. I nearly went to smash the window. I don't know what's the matter with my brain. 
<laughs> nah, we can't fit the gun in there either. There's something to shoot. Right, let's put the gun away. What else is in here? A knife? What have we used the knife for? I definitely shot that scorpion to death as well, like. Because it'd be gone. Oh, maybe. That's a good shout. I'll try that now as well. Put it in drive. Then hit, hit the accelerator. Did I do that right? Parachutes deployed. Who solved that there? <laughs> I didn't even think of it. Successful mission. Exomax, well done. Vacation. I'm afraid I lied about that. But I believe hard work <sighs> is its own reward, don't you? I'm sorry, that only took me twelve minutes. Although that was probably on the successful run. So if I only accounted all the runs where I got zapped by lasers and gassed and all that. Well done though. I would have been there for a long time. It's the weird thing in VR games, like I just didn't There's things that you're used to doing in games, like habits that you form to solve puzzles. I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Keep it up. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. And dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. <laughs> anyway, your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready. Guns away. I wonder how you get that one. Speed run, 35 seconds. That's wild. You need to be super fast to do that. But yeah, yeah. I feel VR puzzle games have you thinking in a much, much different way to solve the puzzles. Right, let's pop that one there. And then use our powers. What's this called? Operation Squeaky Queen. Welcome, Agent. Things are not always as they seem. Telekinetic implant. Okay, let's go for Operation Squeaky Queen. I'm ready. I'm ready for another puzzle. Zor's people recognize you now, so you'll be going undercover for this mission. I hope you're not scared of heights. Data retrieved from Zor's car confirms information linked to us from a Dr. Lincoln. We have also heard news that Zor's lieutenant, <laughs> Daniel Sands, has been researching a super virus. We need you to infiltrate the lab and destroy that virus. That sounds easy enough. <laughs> this is really good. Is this from the same people that made um, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes? We believe Zoraxis is creating a deadly super virus. Perhaps when you're done there, you can come clean my office. <laughs> I'm actually cleaning the windows. Should, oh, no, I'm not done. <laughs> What's in my flask? Do you think something that's not supposed to be there? Is that just tea? Nice. Okay. Hey, Darren Buck. Good to see you. Cheers for tuning in. Oh, outside the play area. It doesn't like that. Just trying to clean these windows. Have I tried Lone Echo? That sounds good, actually. I've no, I've not tried that. There are. I was I was looking through the um, the digital VR games, 
and getting sad because I'm actually I just ate that sandwich. <laughs> getting sad because I've I've nearly played them all. They need to they need to keep up with the rate I'm getting through them recently. Nah, I've still got at least fifty that I've not played yet. Neutralize the super virus. I can't burn it. So, can I smash through the window with my bare hands? No, I can't. Is there more to this sponge than meets the eye, maybe? Utility robot in a space crew. That does sound interesting, right? There is quite a few still on the... Uh, on other VR headsets that are still, like, exclusive... Hopefully they'll make it, they'll make it through. Do you think that was acid that was in that? No. Oh, it's working though. Trip goes. <laughs> that sounds pretty smart. The robot saves the day. No. Oh, of course, there's going to be security measures, isn't there? Can I bring that down? <laughs> I was thinking that duck. Hopefully they'll no find me here. They'll never find me back here. This is maximum stealth. Can I raise it up a wee bit? Is that all good? Nothing try to do me in or that? Excellent! What is this? Attention. Saw that racket. Dr. Ashley Winken, it's come to our attention that you're engaging in unauthorised antivirus research after hours. Management advocates that there are better uses for personal time, <laughs> such as spending it at home with your family. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to them while you were in the lab working on an unapproved project. Dr. Daniel Sands. That's quite terrifying. What we got here? Refill Matic. Refill what the this? No. Not that. Oh don't no no no. No. <laughs> Wonder how many spies things like this have happened to. Goodness sake. <laughs> right. Operation Toxic Rain. Disperse virus. Possible delivery sy systems. Uh, plane. Um, was that a bomb? I know. <laughs> just <laughs> smashing windies. No, even on purpose. No, even on purpose. Just, just by accident. Right, so we're putting down all our helpful hangs that we've found. <laughs> right, so that's chained up. <laughs> what do we go over here? Oh, that's deadly virus, so let's not pick that up just yet. So I'm sure. Uh, all right, there's three cables there. There's a bit of glass there. We can cut it away. Did we want to cut it, though? Okay. Just going to close that, because it's wet out. Um. <laughs> Did you see, like, lasers there? Does that mean that if I was to put my hands forward it would catch me? It's not got my cigar this time, actually. Right, leave that open to show the lasers. Do you think that's alright for my health, though? It's not gonna, like... Nitro... Spray bottle... Oh, geniuses in the chat. We really should ask laser manufacturers to stop selling to obviously insidious individuals. Right. So I mean, I could, I can get through that with my bit of glass. We know I to pick up bits of glass. Damn. Oh, I am. Right. Nice. <laughs> uh. Just gonna put that over there. Security disabled. 
I love that sound when my hands Full glitch. disclosure agent, <laughs> I don't really know how to make an antivirus. Oh, oh sugar. Sean in HR says you tested well in chemistry. So give it a go. Save millions of lives and don't blow yourself up. Oh, no. Uh, so there's two, there's two other things we've not opened. There's a lot of things here. And lots of other things over there. Yep. <laughs> oh, there is a... Show us that. Show us that over here. Right. Excellent. Did that have... Um, was that instructions on how to make the super virus? No. It just shows you that that's what it is. I'll try not to knock everyone over. Let's try and make a nice workplace here for me to try and understand what it wants me to do. So what have we got? We've got 3, 11, 17. So do we want a, a 7 and a 13? Is that what we're after? Thirteen's got a chain attached to it. And then a certain combination of those will make this. But there must be something else we need first. Something like... in there maybe? What's this? For mummy? So this is like a cure, maybe. So 11, 13, and 17. We could make that. I think. It's probably not right, but we should make it. <laughs> 11, 13, 17. I'll check what else there is first, right? We're basically about to make a mystery compound based on a children's drawing, which probably isn't good uh, a good show. <laughs> Only effective on copper, which that chain is made from. So if we had right, those two cause explosion, those two cause that's probably bad. It causes clouds to form around your bottles. Um your beakers, sorry, use the correct terminology. I'm a chemist. <laughs> All right, G is three, so we can put, we can go for that. So we want to make. So we got that one. Uh, AR is seven. I'll pick that up again later. <laughs> AR is seven, which is green, which is that one. Then all right. How do I get that out of there? Nope. Where does that go? Where are the other test tubes? Because AR is 7 and it is in that tube there. Where does that run to? You think you just pour it in? No. There must be more beakers about here somewhere. Is that something in there? Director of Biological Atrocities. Uh, this this does look important. This definitely goes somewhere. Let's keep it. Let's keep it over here again. What else have we got in there? Is that woods of money? For all the biological atrocities. We just ping it off the edge. Somebody's lucky day. Okay. What else have we got? 
<laughs> what else can I do with this thing? Move that up a bit. Maybe there's stuff above me that I'm not seeing. Could probably close that now. It's making a racket. Making a mess. <laughs> oh, this does move. Right, right, but be careful. Just pop that over there. <laughs> I feel like I've made I've made good progress. Although I know I could do it after I've done a gain. I just need a I need to know how to get that out. <laughs> I could make it back here easy, but... I just need another uh, refill. What does this do? Oh! Oh! Right, cool. Give me the green then. That's right, isn't it? 7 AR. So we got G A R. You can freeze that chain and break it. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think that's. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna melt the chain with uh, number seventeen. Um. Then what? We just pop that. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Yes, right. That looks pretty deadly. So then what? Can we pour it and take the wood off? Did we just smash it off the chain, do you think? I'm supposed to pour it into a beaker according to that, but... If I just kind of... So if I put that in the big thing, what would happen then? Like, if I pop that in there, is it game over, do you think? Or do you think it would deliver me... Something else. I mean, it looks the right shape. And then I push the button. Where's it, doing with it? Where's it going? It's going into the hang. Virus stable. Chemical effect negligible. Right. So that that wasn't right. What I did there. <laughs> I made the chemical. Didn't you just smash it off it? I have got a gun. I mean, I probably could have shot at it. Let's test with the other uh, thing that we've got, though. One of these. Oh, sugar, don't kill me. Oh, don't breathe it in. Don't breathe it in. Don't breathe it in. Dodge your breath. Oh, we made a mistake. Is that there forever? Come on, we're outside. Disperse. 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 Excellent. We're still alive. <laughs> Pro spy. Uh, so, let's make that compound again. It was uh, G. Uh, it was... R and Y was 17. Okay. And we're going to hold it over there and shoot it with a gun. And if that is how they wanted me to solve this, then I really am um, falling for this game. <laughs> Amazing. Yes! Right, so now we can get access to... Agent, you've been spotted. Huh? Quick, act naturally. Spotted by who? I'm natural. Look at all this behind me. They really didn't need to... Uh... Who spotted me? That's normal. That's natural. That's pretty cool. They didn't even need to bother doing any of that. It does... Uh... It appears the guard didn't buy it. Didn't they buy what? Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Get away. Yes. I always knew you were intimidating, 
It's your stoic silence. That's why they rendered this bit. What a game. I know, he didn't expect that I'd been playing light gun games from a very young age. I thought he was in there. That's funny. He would have been watching me hiding from an enemy in there. All the while, the enemy was behind me. The enemy was behind me all along. Do you think this is the right one, then? The four mummy one. That's got to be the, the right way to solve it, hasn't it? Because it required having 13, which is locked. And 17, which was me. And the other one that was me as well. <laughs> I know, it's a stretch. These are thinking, that that's this is a stretch, what you're doing here. Right. Look at all that. I could... I could destroy the world. <laughs> but I'm going to save it because I'm a goodie. R. This one. Yeah, number 11. NN. 13. Uh, y was Sanite. So 17. And then we go like that. And then we pop it in the machine. And then we save the day and we get some money and martinis or whatever it is that my guy likes doing there. Neutralization attempt blocked. Oh. Playing pre-recorded message. Uh, uh. Found a conscience despite our threats. Well, I'm afraid you won't have a chance to use your antivirus. We're changing the timetable and launching the super virus today. That is Anthony Daniels, isn't it? Uh, uh, uh. Agent, if that rocket launches with an active virus, millions will die. Neutralize that virus now. How do you... <laughs> how do you want me... Oh, oh, this actually is working. Oh, vanity money. Money. Bullets. Hello. <laughs> uh. Oh, I need some of that. The compound. The compound. Yeah. How did it? Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, sugar. What was it? G A R Y. G. I forgot how you make the compound. Right, just catch my <laughs> money penny. Where are you? G, refill, refill. G is three. Uh, AR is seven. Uh, y is sunny. Give me it. Come on, where is it? I need the compound. Melt the beams. <laughs> and we can take. No. Oh, sugar, I need to make another one, don't I? That's well no happening. Well, at least we get to watch it. I tried. Right, so I need to have... I need to have some other ones ready <laughs> to deal with that before. That was good though. These are really good puzzles. I died from the virus outbreak. That's what the coroner had to say. Good to see you well, that's pretty. Sorry, I was quite... <laughs> it sounds really good. Right, so... We believe Zoraxis is creating a deadly super virus. We know Zor wants revenge on the agency, but this is a tad extreme. Get into that lab, and I'll walk you through making an antivirus. He didn't walk me through anything. <laughs> he left me flat, my boot panicking. Right, I'm going to keep my bullets for later. 
And we're gonna smash this in like that. Breach detected. Initiating security measures. Right, so that was the security measures which were fine actually. Because I know where the... I, I should maybe spray it just to make sure, but... I know the lasers are kind of all about there. So as long as I don't go anywhere else. Right, let's... Oh, what was, what was that? What did I, was that my flask? <laughs> Damn it. Right, let's start getting rid of things that are near essential. Okay. So we're moving this forward like this, nice and carefully. Disclosure agent, I don't really know how to make an antivirus. However, Sean in HR says you tested well in chemistry. So give it a go. Save millions of lives and don't blow yourself up. So, what other things do we need here? Let's get everything we need sorted out. So the last things I needed, I need another one of those made, right? <laughs> Got a sandwich to eat, because we're hungry. And that's for the super virus, so that's fine. Let's just close that. So, we need to melt that. And to melt that, we're going to need this, right? These are the two most important ones. R E N N Y and G I A R Y. Jerry and Rennie. Okay. And we're going to try and have this one maybe over here. Uh, does it seem like that too precarious, do you think? Going to make a mess. Let's put the sponge away as well. Let's pop that in there. A wee bottle. Let's just pop that in there as well. Okay. So, what else do we need? We didn't really need his ID card, did we? It's just for a, a nice wee joke. Let's pop that in there as well. So we're going to make the melty chemical, and then we're going to make two of the melty chemical. <laughs> I know how to speak. We're going to make two of the melty chemical, which requires G R Y. So G is blue. It's number three. Uh, R is green. It's number seven. And Y is seventeen, which is red. And we're going to make that twice, just so we've got it left for the end when we pop it over there somewhere. Nice. Just put that there. Don't, no. You know what? We keep you in there. Don't smash. Uh, now, let's do that again. We've got blue. Uh, AR7 green. Blue, green, and red. Cool. So we've got two of them. Now we want to make... What was the other one I was going to need? I guess I'll have to neutralise the virus. So I'll need to make two of that one. Two of Renny. Okay. So those are... Two that I need. Where would be best to put you? That seems dangerous. Everywhere, everywhere I'm looking seems dangerous for this. Stay. So you know what? We could we could just melt it. I don't think he punishes us at that early stage for melting melting it. Agent, you've been spotted. Quick, act naturally. Oh, I like that. Truly, is it that guy up there, right? They ran off. I always knew you were intimidating. <laughs> it's your stoic sense. They ran off, bleeding profusely. Uh, so we want re, 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 purple, purple eleven, uh, yellow thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
and I was very intimidating shooting him directly <laughs> through a window. That is pretty intimidating to be fair. Okay, let's come on, push that button. Right, pop one over here just for safekeeping. And then make the same one again. For later. Uh R E. Purple. And then thirteen yellow. And Y seventeen. This is it. We're gonna do it this time. Gonna expect me not to die now. Okay, so we pop that. Then we let go of the move button. Then we try to put it in the machine and he's gonna flip out. Push the button. Neutralization attempt blocked. Playing pre-recorded message. Found a conscience despite our threats. Well, I'm afraid you won't have a chance to use your antivirus. We're changing the timetable and launching the super virus today. Today. What one was what again? That's the melty one and that's the cure, yeah? Deploying rocket boosters. Agent, if that rocket launches with an active virus, millions will die. Neutralize that virus now. Okay. Uh, this one is the melty one, I think. Hoping like hell that it's the, the right one here. And then we rip the lid off it. No! Yes! Yes! Well done, Agent. <laughs> there will be no outbreak today. Let's get you out of there. The best agent. <laughs> Seven hey, minutes to... A bit of bad news. Your test scores for window washing came back. It seems breaking a window is generally frowned upon while washing it. But, <laughs> hey, what's a yeah, broken window? Deceiving 500,236 lives. Quite a bit, actually. It's <laughs> coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a very good puzzle, though. It does seem very suited to uh, escape the room type puzzles VR. While not discreet, you did get the job done. Though I suppose discretion went out the window with Zor's explosive dirigible over the Caymans last year. Ah, the prettiest explosions are always the messiest. Imagine being able to do that in two minutes. That's wild. You're toast. Plane to see. Doctor Freeze. So that'd be like, oh, I could probably put the guy's card in the sort of nitrogen. That was great, though. Is there only going to be another two levels? I hope there's more. I wonder how many kind of things like that they could realistically create, though. Eh? I'm always going to burn this every time. Telekinetic implant. Time for a wee celebration. There was, um, what's the other game you can smoke in? You can smoke a cigar in Blood and Truth as well. Uh, but it does, it does something else that adds to it. Like if you went like that, and exhaled, it actually, like, smoke comes out when you exhale. Same way when you vape in the game as well. It's wee things like that that I'm super impressed by. That's safe, isn't it? Can you stub it out? For later? No. I like that you can physically hear that I'm hitting it off a surface. Anyway, what other stations is there? more chilled. Oh! Well 
Floating chairs. Go for that. It's like early in the war. Nah, the Belton chairs, please. There we go. Your next mission will take you to the beautiful Caribbean. But this is no vacation. I already told you we can't afford that. <laughs> You'll need to destroy Zor's top secret submarine, but don't count on using an escape pod. We find those things at the bottom of the ocean all the time. The people inside are usually pretty dead. So escape a submarine. Deep dive. We're gonna deep die. We're gonna deep I expect you to die a couple of times. The logo for this is quite close to the Ubisoft logo. Oh no, oh no. Oh, <laughs> this is a bad one, eh? Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Kept the pin for myself. Small gift to repay your medal and key. Step one, turn the dial to number. Step two, set Q band if odd. Set Z band if even. Step three, confirm number. What? Primary oxygen, open close, water pipe, reserve, fuel line, open close. Fuel's empty. Should I close that? They're gonna make something terrible happen. Ooh, right, right, right. If we can set that about there. 72538. Repeat for each number. Um, sugar. <laughs> that noise was loud enough to. Uh, Make me pay attention. Is that because I've done that? Open, open, open. No, no, it seems unrelated now. Open. I'm drowning. That's me, dude. <laughs> Cause of death, drown. I think it was unrelated. I'm hoping. So Axis strikes again, what's he up to now? Who can save us now that an incredibly competent agent is dead? Uh, right. All the paper is mad important, right? <laughs> Welcome to our it's quite stressful. Escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. <laughs> this is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Right, that's, that's a two, isn't it? Oh, sugar, sugar, just a tiny bit of... There. 72538. 72538. What am I entering that on? Can we ascend? That's off. Uh, hull breach, flooded engine, flood levels. Batman. Oh, that's stupid. Close it, close it. Oh, that was dumb. I'm underwater. Why would you open that hatch? You're underwater. <laughs> Horrifying. Horrifying. Drowning. Oh, right. <laughs> What's in? What is this? Oh, it's a grenade. <laughs> the pin. That's what he was on about the pin. <laughs> I'm dying super quickly in this level. It scared me. The stress a wee bit. Should I not do that then? Here's a parting gift. Welcome Hope you don't mind. I kept the pin for myself. So if I open that, 
There's a grenade in there. Right? Uh, no? Can we pop that in there? No? Is that a shark out there? A fish? Uh, what would a grenade be useful for? Oh no! 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 Oh, no! Took the pin out. I was going to squeeze it into there, but we've got this. We can open this. Welcome to our state of the art oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. That's oxygen. Right, so we could move a valve. What was that one again? That one stopped that, but then it caused a hull breach, didn't it? <laughs> uh, there's some fuel coming. Have we got in that we can put fuel in? Before I die. There's a fan outside. There's a gun. Flare gun. Extinguish nothing. <laughs> I can extinguish nothing. Right, we're we're not making any progress. Let's think about this. There's a fire extinguisher. Can I sh can I shove the fire extinguisher in here? We can't. What else Welcome have we got? Welcome to our state of the art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Oh! There's other things. A screwdriver. Uh, a sealant. No. <laughs> uh, okay. The sealant is now for anything in there. What's in there? Oh, for goodness sake. Just close that. Get that closed. Uh, <laughs> what would we use something like this for? Pop it in there, maybe? No? Not that? Definitely not that. What would we use this for? A green handle on it. A green handle. Uh, green handles would be good for. Well, I mean, we can we can open the water water pump. Right. We can do that. And stick that in there. Amazing. And then. Did that make the flood level go worse? What is this connected to? Uh, where does this... Do you think if we close that and use this? Get it back into the green. Amazing. Escape pod trade. Wonderful. This is progress. Now we have a bottle opener. A bottle and a ah, sugar. Get that moldy sandwich tanned for energy. I mean we're about to die. Might as well have a good time. Please open. remember to ration your rations. Are these sort of comedy instruments then? 
I'm drowning. <laughs> I thought I'd made progress there, so we know how to unflood the place. Take the screwdriver, do that, but then the hull pressure gets too bad. As soon as you do it, and we... What was that noise? I think that's outside the game. I think it's my downstairs neighbour yawning. Uh, right, so we can... Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis <laughs> escape pod. An explosion has I'm to so confused. very functions. This uh, is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Where would you turn... Where would you even type in the self-destruct abort code? There's nowhere to type. Oxygen's good. We're fine for oxygen. We need something to clamp around that. Do you think? Let's try using that to see if we can turn the... Uh... Oh, wrong button. This. Right. That's good. We can turn on reserve oxygen with that. Right. Nothing bad could come to that. So oxygen's good. Engine is gubbed. We could fill the bottle up with the fuel. This game's amazing. It does tell me like I would die about in about forty different realities trying to do this <laughs> before I got it right. Forty different lighthouses. You really do have to uh, get the fuel in. But is the problem of the grenade as well? Am I watering down this fuel as well? And am I over oxygenating myself? No, I'm alright. This one's intense just because of all the water sounds and the feeling of being trapped in a wee kind of pod. Nearly there, nearly there. I think I am filling that up with a lot of water by accident. By what you'd feel. Come on. I don't want to turn that off though, because every time I turn it off, the cabin kind of pops. When the escape pod pops. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, I'm out of fuel. Right. See, the engine doesn't say full yet, though. Is that all the fuel you can get? Give him a sandwich, a wee bit of water. Definitely filling up my nice juice. That would be enough fuel though, wouldn't it? It's in the green. It's in the green. Let's close that. So we can't the engine start, right? What were the other things that were in here? Hundreds of grenades. Uh, we need that code, so let's get that ready. Turn dial, I can't remember, what was it? Turn dial to number, set Q band at odd. So Q odd Z even. Q odd Z even. Q odd Z even. 7 2. So 7 will be odd. What is the Q band on? Where do I put this in? You think sun's gonna go on fire? Shouldn't I be deal with that? For now. I think you need to put the lid back in this. Right. Should have just left that where it was. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
oxygen is getting worse. What did this one do again? Actually, too feared to touch it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Fuel's going to be fine. But as soon as I do that, it's going to... Then you can use the fire extinguisher on the grenade. <laughs> uh, intense. Is the sea one? Use the sea one on the grenade. Did that work as a pin? I should have done all that before this. Because as soon as I rev that engine, it's gonna. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. See one, get the see one in one hand and get ready to get the fire extinguisher in the other. <laughs> okay, wait, can you? Be cool if you can stick them back together, eh? So it's kind of shaped like that. Whatever. Or should I take the grenade out and try to put the see one on it? Is that working? Oh, you dancer. Yes! Right, that's one way of saying to worry about. You can go back in there. This game is so clever. Right, then we're going to close that. Should we rev the engine and then do the water pump? Because we're flooded, right? The engine is literally flooded. Oh no, where did I get the wee green thing? That is right. Uh, to close that. Escape pod drained. Engine running. We did it. What's that other one? Hull breach. How do we help? Uh... Okay. <laughs> How do? <laughs> How do we help that? <laughs> what a game! I drowned again. I'm gonna have to get a wee a wee drink of juice. I think before we get back in there. That's wild. Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Right, so... Let's, let's do things in a, a set order. Water pump last. But we're only going to have a wee while to do the the other bits. I, mean, I suppose I could I can do that, can't I? It does it only start breaching I can have that all ready to go. And then I can open this. I'm not sure what to do at the end, like I had the fire extinguisher ready, I put it out. I wonder what I need to do. See, to stop a hull breach, do I need to open back up that valve, do you think? <laughs> Keep waiting for the last part as well, where it's going to ask me to... Uh, like that's a lot more water coming out of there than I really, really want. I'm 
really not sure about what to do on the last part. I was prepared for every eventuality, except for that one. That's not even filling up. Is it? Uh, it is working. That filled it up for some reason. I used to be happier when we'd be in less accurate with it. There we go, right, that's that fill up. For some reason I was still holding that in my hand. I'll just put it back. Right, so now we can get the sea one. Oh, sugar, and do the grenades. Yeah. The nice gift that he left me. Made the way. Let's see, went up there. So then we need this guy to go on here. Gonna open some oxygen in the cabin. Oh, you need that on constantly. Kill, cool, kill. Cool. Self destruct. Is that. Did we self destruct last time? I don't even think we did. I don't think we self destructed. Uh, So we're still flooded, we'll deal with that in a second. What was the other thing that was in there? Just money, isn't it? Just money. Money and a million grenades. An unnecessary <laughs> amount of grenades. I didn't see anything that was uh, self-destruct looking. Oh, you can hover things. It told me that at the beginning of the game. You can hover things in front of you that I'm like, just sit them there. Right, seven, two, five, three, you hit repeat for each number. That's legible now. So, we're going to switch on, we can't switch on the engine until we've done the flooded part. As soon as we do the flooded part, everyone's going to go mad. Is it because I tried to ascend too quickly? We're just going to have to do it. I'm just going to have to do it again and hope for the best. There's nothing on the back of this guy's paper or that. Close that over there. Let's make sure I've not missed anything else. Main fuel. Don't you can seal the crack in the, the main fuel bit. No. No, it doesn't look like it. <sighs> no bother. Cheers for tuning in, Cuppy. Thanks for the chat, man. Good to see you. Have a good one. Uh, uh, right. What can I do here? Right, we're we going to deflood it. We're we just going to risk it. Straight away. Let's go. So we're gonna close that. Escape pod drained. You think I have to open it again? No. Nah. Escape pod drained. Engine running. Escape pod drained. How do you deal with hull breach?
Ah, oh, with the sea wind. Ascent. Wasn't that easy? No. The engine is engaged and we are starting our ascent. Just sit back and relax. What's happening there? Structural integrity failing. Where? Would you like to vent oxygen? Vent, 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 venting oxygen. No, don't. Detected. I don't. I don't want to vent oxygen. What's what's detected? What did you say there? Warning! Engine engine over overheating. Engine overheating. Too many. Engine Too many. No. No. Override code to board. Uh, where, where's the, where do you want the code? Uh, so it's seven. And what is it for odd? Set band Q if odd. Uh, Q. What's that one? Two. And Z if even. Five uh, digit code required. Five. It's odd, so it'll be Q. Uh, three is odd, so it'll be Q. And eight is even. Self-destruct aborted. Oh, that was hard. What a game. We hope your escape pod experience was a pleasant one. It was nice. Please gather all your belongings. Open the hatch above you and signal your rescuers. Have a nice day. Ah, oh, I'm actually sweating like mad potato heat. <laughs> it's kind of intense. I'm feared to open this, even though it looks like I'm above. I'm above uh, the, the water. Our communications are back online. <sighs> what a game. Ah, there you are, Agent. We thought we'd lost you to the wilds of the Caribbean. We're approaching your position now. <sighs> Nine minutes. I hate to say I told you so. Uh, no, wait. I, I love to say that. <laughs> I told you so, Agent. But your love of escape pods clearly clouded your judgment. <laughs> I don't love them anymore. <laughs> that was that was really good. Yeah, they kind of are, but it's good though. It's good being stressed. The uh, you transmitted from the strong sun stomach before you gave it the old TNT ta ta. Point to a hunting lodge in the Alps. Well, don't ask me why submarine coordinates lead to the mountains. I couldn't even begin to want to understand it. Fire away. I wonder if you can use the water instead of that. Doing that in two minutes is... I don't even believe that can be done. <laughs> right, we've got another mission though. Oh sugar, let me just pick that back up. I'm going to recalibrate because I think I've moved around a lot while I was freaking out at the bottom of the sea there. That's not my station. There we go. <laughs> That's fit. Oh, right, we stretch because I must have been fully uh, stressed during all that winter break. Let's go for it. The Alps are known for scenic vistas, prestigious skiing, and hidden hunting lodges. I'll give you one guess as to which one you'll be enjoying during your trip. If you guess the hidden hunting lodge, you win the grand prize, which is a trip to a hidden hunting lodge. <laughs> we believe Zor's working on a secret machine. Infiltrate the lodge and find that machine. Machine Z. That should be alright. 
Just a machine. It's not underwater. I like that some of my things for previous missions are lying about. Like the sea went gun and the the window sponge. <laughs> Let's go. Go for a winter break. Nearly at winter break, was it October? Nice. Oh, deadly crossbow bear. Uh, You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear the agency is handing out lodges just like this one to any agent who finds the new machine Zor is working on. If I were you, I'd find that machine. Ping his money into the, uh, into the fire. There we go. <laughs> Smoky cigar for a wee while. It's fine. I won't reprimand you for destroying a decanter of 16-year-old single malt scotch. It doesn't bother me. It sounds like it does a wee bit. I'm sorry. What if I done it again? <laughs> what if I done it again three more times? <laughs> that looks like I could, like, that it's going to open or something, doesn't it? Or maybe you can burn it a wee bit? You want to... Uh, Alright. Uh, right, so that's like a disk drive of some kind. Toxic gas is flammable. So is that though. Oh, oh right. So the ant were... Gonna turn the antler on you. Ooh. I think if we light the other candle as well. Can we do that? Can I light things at a distance? I can. What a cool game. Anyone else needing what? <laughs> uh Right, so we've opened that. Door alarm triggered. Oh. Deer gas activated. Oh, come on now. Right. What is in there? Let me get a good read it out first. Three crystal cores. Sun profit. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Took us a lot longer to die on that level, so maybe we figured a lot of things out. You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear the agency is handing out lodges just like this one to any agent who finds the new machine Zor is working on. If I were you, I'd find that machine. Do you think it has to be sat like that? Where's that picture taken from, though? So I pulled the bear's arm down. Wonder if that does anything. Put some more logs on the fire. That is actually quite cool. Oh, that's dangerous, but nice. So could light the cigar. I think we should light it on the fire. Oh, it is, it is what? So where would that be? So if they were coming into the room, it would be like... Like that. Rear lighter. Yeah, number three lighter. Oh, wait, three... 
eight six three eight six three eight six can we put that hat on yes <laughs> that fits well it does Humans all must have heads of similar size we must. that's a uh, fun fact toxic gas is flammable So, do that and then set set fire to the gas. What an amazing idea for a game. I think I really have had this a long time as well. I should have been on this way before now. Is that his nice car that we drove out the, the plane at the beginning as well? Okay, the gas is flammable, so my plan is to pick up one of these logs and burn the gas. Have it maybe floating about there. Door alarm triggered. Deer gas activated. Oh, that's pretty metal. Oh, this game is so good. So. Let's get these over and get a look at them. So there's three crystal cores. Right. I'll burn those these papers as well, but I'll bring them over first and get a read of them. Neutralize security force. Profit, Golden Goose. Operation Golden Goose. <laughs> right. What's this though? Wow! Reflective. Just want to cut a little Z on your forehead. What do we do with this? Should we melt this? We've still got that. Machine access restricted. Insert control cartridge. So we need a cartridge to insert in there. I want to light the other candle again, even though I'm pretty sure it didn't really do anything. Just want to make sure that I've done everything I can here. Okay, let's melt some of these. <laughs> Secret hidden nothing at all. Alright. What about this one, though? Secret hidden... Nothing. Hmm. Anything else in there? Right, so we're, I mean, we're burning, uh, we're burning things. So that, that moved. And we know that it's three, three, eight, six. So three, eight. Special lighter. Oh, and a cartridge, right? We know where that's going. Oh, what's this? Crystal resonance report. Okay, so pink's unstable frequency. I feel like crossbow bear is gonna get me. We pop all his money in the fire.
while wearing his hat. Let's see if we can set fire to the crossbow bear as well. Alright, <laughs> this is getting quite dangerous actually with all the fire happening in this room. Two more watts of money to go. We could burn all his booze as well, but we might keep that. Uh, okay, so cartridge time. And um, crystals are going to be happening. Control cartridge accepted. Voice authentication required. Yeah. Authentication failure. Uh. Deploying bear archer. Oh, sugar. How good a name is he? Oh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Oh, yeah. How, how long is bear archer going to be doing that for? Quite a long time then, it turns out. Jeez! Bear disarmed. Nice. Security malfunction. Insert data sphere override. Uh, yeah, data sphere, I can do that. This doesn't go well. <laughs> oh, good. Oh my goodness. Just as we feared. Zor's new device appears to have the power to affect gravity. You must destroy that machine. <laughs> Good to see you, Hex Adventure. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. It has indeed. How you been? I don't remember putting that cigar in my mouth, I think gravity done that. Ah, I see, I see. You enjoying it though? I'm just hovering things about. So I can know what I'm working with before I start making a mess. No, I hate working. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's got to be done though, I guess. So you can, you know, do things like get games. I'm trying to understand what it wants me to do because I've made this. I've actually only died once on this level, I think. And it's going to want me to, uh, to do a puzzle now, having survived a lot of things. smoke a cigar while wearing the baddie's hat and smoking the baddie's cigar and using the baddie's lighter. Oh, oh, sugar. Right, just pop that there. Right, toxic gas is flammable. We've done that, we've done that, we've not done that. I set fire to this thinking there would be some hidden information on it. I do have a variety of crystals. <laughs> Diamond sapphire meth. <laughs> so we've got those three. We can use any of them. So it says crystal cores, right? Crystal cores. What can we move on this machine? Can he use any of this stuff? So, is it just looking for me to put the crystal in? Does it want me to create an unstable frequency? 
Where is that? So it says... It's almost like I should be able to take the thing off. Let's, let's pick up a red crystal, right? Start putting it near it. Nah, it didn't do anything. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else I can mess about with in the room. Oh, one of my logs, my burning logs is escaping. Just rub it off of that just in case. All my burning logs are trying to escape the fire and I've set fire to pretty much everything. What's this? It's another ash tree. Oh no, it's, it's the ash tree I had before but gravity's went mad. So let's float you there just a second. Let's close you back over. I think there's another thing. Can I use this now? No. So it says I. I'm going to take the cigar out of my chops as well. Put that down there. Oh, cool. That takes care of that then, I guess. Can I use this? Not much left to use. Toxic gas is flammable. We've used that as well. So we're getting rid of the things we've totally dealt with. I emptied that drawer. So yeah, neutralized security force using gravity gun. Well, gravity thing. Where is this thing, do you think? It's at the sides. Or in there. Not sure what that did. Red crystal cores are in there, right? Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a big handle right in front of me and I'm like, I wonder what to do. <laughs> I wonder what the answer could be. Sugar. Right, aligned. Is that a good thing? Take the crystal out. Is it going to kill me as soon as I do that? Ah, the resonance is, uh... You see it's that one? How much if I take it out? It'll be a flat line. So do I want it to be unstable? Or is that going to do me in? <laughs> Aye, but I wonder, the machine's working, so maybe I want to break the machine by putting, like, making it unstable, or maybe that'll kill me. Yes! <laughs> so let's bring a couple of different coloured crystals over to play about with. Oh, wrong button. Bring that towards me. There we go. Right. So we have many crystals to choose from now. Let's try putting that in there. And what does that do? Crystal aligned. Huh. Is that a good thing, then? Put that back. Still 
Is there another one that lets me change it around? I'm aligning the crystals. It has a one on it. Rotate it. Aye, that's what I was thinking, but I can't seem to, to make it rotate. So the bits that you can interact with turn uh, blue when you're hovering over them. Maybe I'll put in the original red again, but make sure it's crystal aligned. Make sure it's crystal aligned. Moving that bear's arm may give you pause, agent, but it won't stop Zor. True. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to do anything. Nothing for turning around. Interesting. Where could I find a pink crystal? Uh, that was for this this cartridge and then that came up and I put the gold ball in the hand and then this came up. Uh, I've, I've done the, this guy and that thing and the safe but do you think, do you think you can like melt the crystal? I should t check the roof though, just in case there's been a, a purple crystal that I've not seen. What colours make purple again? Blue and green. Red, blue. Wanna well, try that? Try and make it unstable by doing basic colours. Can I put a blue one in there at the same time? Would you say this is more purple than blue? <laughs> let's try let's try this one then. That's definitely blue, isn't it? Well align it though. Crystal Crystal aligned. Yeah, that's that's a wind. I am um, confusion. The rain transformed. Can you have two in there at the one thing? No. No. <laughs> Bring all the crystals over here. There's a purple book that seems to be weighted down more than the others. Oh, secret panels. Right. Glad I noticed that there. I've got too much stuff floating in front of me now. With my telekinesis. Is that what we need then? We just need to put this in. And make the frequency unstable and don't kill me. Put it back in when it's unstable. Crystal waveform not aligned. Mm. Put it in when it is aligned. Crystal unstable. Machine malfunction. Yes. Laser defense mode one. No. Zor certainly knows you're there now. Oh, sugar. We're sending a helicopter to extract you. That machine must be destroyed before it arrives. Oh, no. Get in there. Can I dodge this? I can. Amazing. Is that aligned? Crystal unstable. 
it's going to do something more mental. Oh, it's got two. <laughs> I'm wet. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So there's two lasers now though, eh? I'm a mess about trying to make a wave happen. Oh, it seems so close. Crystal unstable. Don't zap me. What a game. I love this game. <laughs> Nicely done. There's nothing like an explosive finish to foil a villain's plans once and for all. Now, grab that retrieval line and we'll get you out of there. Get me right there. Oh, that's right. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect it to like, pull me out the chair with such ferocity there. That took me a while, but I only died once. a lovely large ruin like that. Especially considering we had to cut the large reward program I told you about earlier. It turns out we don't have the budget to hand out lodges all willy-nilly. Still though, well done. Thanks. That was, that was hard. It took me 22, 23 minutes. If I hadn't seen that book was wore down, I would have been like, I don't, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I have good news, Agent. As everyone knows, you are my third favorite field operative, and as such, I managed to find some money in the budget for that vacation you always mention after nearly dying. Grab the new <laughs> reel in the door, and we'll be off and running. Ah, so there was once, there was a uh, souvenirs for Burning Crystal. If I put the hat on the bear, I could have got Dapper Bear. But I got Molotov for putting the booze in the fire. Styling agent for taking the baddie's hat and putting it on. Flying saucer. I'm not sure what that would be. Was it? There is there is a lot of things on the soundtrack. Uh, you can change the radio. Ah, oh, throwing the hat. Ah, you're right, Potato Head Man. That sounds right. <laughs> Damn it. Imagine doing that whole mission in two minutes, though. Speed run. Ah, <laughs> that's right. True. It looked like an odd job hat as well. I should have, uh, should have done that. I'm surprised. I was, I thought that was maybe going to be the last mission, but is there another one? Did he give me another mission? First class vacation. I'm ready. Now, because I have a passing fondness for you, I've booked you on a luxurious train ride across India, from Delhi all the way to the vacation wonderland that is Shimla. You can thank me later. Indeed, my fleeting appreciation for you knows no bounds. Enjoy the views and the first class treatment. <laughs> Honestly, I'm quite jealous, but some of us have to keep the world safe while you're off gallivanting across India. Ah, enjoy your vacation. <laughs> uh, among us in VR. That'd be class. That'd be first class. No, no. Right. <laughs> Belgian jazz. Right. Let's go for it. First class vacation. Is it going to be credits? Oh. I would be really ill playing that in uh, VR. Or the rolling about your character does. <laughs> Shimla Luxury Express. First class cabin. That's very James Bond. First class cabin to cabin transport. Insert parcel into tube. Select destination cabin. To record to send. A, a bit of a problem. But don't worry. We will sort it out and have you moving again shortly. For your safety, please remain in your cabin. Right, so that's my ticket. I probably, I mean, my impulse always in this game is to set fire to things for some reason. <laughs> Donuts and and uh, a soup. Just some tea. 
It's just, uh, maybe we will need this, so I was going to fling it away, but maybe we'll just keep it. Oh, wow. I see the problem here. It's military vehicles on the tracks. Very nice. Might as well have a cup of tea while we're waiting. <laughs> right. Russian violinist arrives in Shimla. Last chance to see Anna Ulanova perform. Day life as a violinist is more stressful and busy than you might imagine. If the chance to make a change were to arrive, I would take it. A huge 15 country, 125 concert tour ends with a solo recital in Shimla on Tuesday. Star plans on retiring the day after as a birthday present to herself. Don't miss out. See her live next month at the Shimla concert hall. Man with spear threatens agent. The beauty, the beauty soap of Rosie. A ticket agent in Chandigarh says he was harassed by a striking individual armed with what could only be called a double-bladed spear, Darth Maul. He was attacked by Darth Maul. Right, donut time. Oh, I want to eat some donuts. Give me that. I think it's poison donuts and I've made a mistake. <laughs> I could have poured all that into my lap. Uh, what is this, mystery? I'll drink it. Oh, still some left. There we go. What we got here? Shimla Tour. Comfort awaits you. Comfort awaits you aboard the Shimla Luxury Express. Relax in our well-appointed cabins as you're transported from your daily life to the vacation wonderland of Shimla. Order a cup of tea or snack from room service. Enjoy the mountain views or just sit back and enjoy the daily complimentary newspaper. Oh, what's in the back? Luxury dispatch equipment. Speedy item transport. Take advantage of our new cabin to cabin transport system guaranteed to keep your business private. Enjoy a musical adventure. Right, I'm ready to start setting fire to things, I think. Didn't they want me to do that? They shouldn't have given me a lighter. Uh, oh, oh, sugar. Yep, I can set fire to that as well. So we're in number four. Let's sort the ticket out here as well. Okay, so there was no um, hidden information on any of those. Let's get my messages. Oh, sugar, I'm setting fire to everything. Uh, that, yeah, that'll burn itself out, that's fine. Do I need to pick the phone up to hear the messages? I mean, that does make sense. Oh, how I do enjoy leaving phone messages. Um, since this is <laughs> Oh, sugar. No, oh, what are you saying? buttons on the wall. Light them up, but not them all. Clues I've left, there are four. Each one found reveals a door. <laughs> I just came up with that. Oh, sugar. He was giving me a riddle like the lid. The, the lid one. Oh, how I do enjoy leaving phone messages. Yeah. Um, since this is an unsecured line, here's a clever little riddle. Buttons, buttons on the wall. I see them. Light them up, but not them all. Clues I've left, there are four. Each one found reveals a door. <laughs> I just came up with that. Right, so we're playing lights out on the wall. Light them up, but not them all. <laughs> Guy's got me talking like him now. Uh... So it's parcels. Can he move that? What else is behind me? Cool. So there's nothing else here. We can open that. So 
So, is it really just these? Light them up, but not them all, and there's four clues. Hopefully they're one of these that I burnt and drank and ate. So there was two donuts. <laughs> oh, sugar. Sorry. That's weird. Sticking my head out, that made me feel like I was outside. VR's amazing. There didn't seem to be anything... On this, that was necessarily a clue. Oh, there we go. Right. Said they left me four clues, though, yeah? Uh, okay, so if we were going from the top, we'd want that one, that one, that one. Nice. Stun grenades. <laughs> right, so get them all towards me then. We're putting a stun grenade down the <laughs> down the uh, parcel shit. <laughs> it seems a bit cruel, but you know, if it's the name of the game, insert parcel into tube. How do you get that though? Where's the tube? Or do you think there's uh, another message for the guy first? Should we pick up the phone again and see if he's got anything else to tell me? What else have you been up to? No, um, just the same. Since this is an unsecured line, here's a clever little riddle. Buttons, buttons on the wall. Light them up. But not them all. Clues I've left, there are four. Each one found reveals a door. <laughs> I just came up with that. I think it's something to do with the stun grenades then? Oh, sh <laughs> Did I cause that? Stun a bunch of birds. See, there are holes all the way around them, but I think I accidentally picked up the pin when I was picking it up. There is wee bits on the bottom, but that can't be the clue, is it? That seems way too small to be the, the clue. Right, he said he left four clues though, yeah? So there's another one. So do I want to put out the ones I've already lit up? Uh, so that would be two down, then there, there, there. What a game. Right, so moving both of those over there and hoping like hell that we don't need three stun grenades. <laughs> We continue on. So that's that's just money, yeah. Bearer of this document is hereby pardoned for crimes committed. <laughs> True. Toss it out the window. Screaming. Uh, pardoned for crimes committed against the state. Right, we need to keep that. That's important. There's one right there. I've been looking at that the whole time and never even realised that's a clue. I bet all you are like, what's the matter with this guy? How does he know just use his eyes and brain? So we've got that bit there. And skip that one and that one. Tape transmitter. Right, we've not got a tape though, have we? 
Is this for taking the front off of the... Off of this? What a game! Is this a earpiece? I'll put that on. Great job! Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. What? Find out what cabin he's in and send it with the something with the agency logo on it, so like the the lighter. Ring each cabin, do you think? Do you think it'll let me though? Somebody might come in and do me if I do that. How many did we solve there? We had one, two, then the front of the phone was three. So there's another secret door. Unless that's the secret door. No, I'm not counting that as a secret door. There must be one more clue. Do you think it's on the paper? I did set fire to these, that was very not smart. Check the bowl, absolutely. That's a good shout. Uh, mm, maybe not the bowl. What about this plate? No, not the plate. Uh, toss it. <laughs> Out the window. Oh, maybe on the mug, actually. Just making sure before I do. Yeah! <laughs> Listening for that gentle smash of China. Uh, let's try this. Ooh, is that possible? No? No, I don't think that is one, is it? <laughs> right, stop chucking things at the windy. What have we got here? <laughs> Just wear that on my face. Yeah, that's that's not it either. The military are like, what is he doing? He keeps pinging things at the windy. Wee tiny screws in that. <laughs> Imagine the racket that would make when it hit the ground, man. Hear it echoing all up the mountain. Uh, right, we've done that, we've done that. We've done that. There's not going to be one on my light or... We're just getting rid of everything that isn't helpful. Okay, good distance on them though. Oh, do you think it's on one of the pillows maybe? You can pick up the phone actually, I will look at the phone. I don't think there was anything on this that necessarily... Let's see if there is anything on the phone though. Right, let's try these pillows because I have me and I'm going to try anything else that you can interact with in the room. Which is... Nothing. Nothing. Right, we need to... Is that somebody at my door there? Did you hear that? Was that in the game? <laughs> Do you think... Nah, the pillow doesn't look like it's giving me any clues, does it? Uh, what about this one, though? Doesn't look like it's got clues either. Oh, sugar. I just pushed the wrong button. Let's pop that over there as well. Nah, that's not quiz. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I keep pushing the wrong button. Hmm. All right. We're going to have to start making calls to different... Uh, I, was on, I was about to say what... What is that pen? But that's the pen I took out the stun grenade, isn't it? Dangerous. Put you back there. 
Okay. We get room service. Sorry, we are tending to some difficulties up ahead. Please stay in your compartment for now. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. Who do you think it is so far? Maybe number one? That's me again, isn't it? Oh, how I do enjoy leaving phone. No. Snatch. Who's the snatch? Zor says to take care of the snitch. Retrieve the information from her and clean up any loose ends. Do your job or else. So, so one in six are baddies. Yeah? So this customer's upset. Number two is upset. Oh, sugar, do you only get to listen to the message once? Oh, no. Uh, so number one was like a message for the baddies. Number two said there was armored vehicles walking down the cabin. Uh, number five was violin. Number six was baddie as well talking about killing snitches but he said the snitch was a female would the snitch be working for us so maybe so we're in number four so it can only be well nobody spoke on five it was just someone playing an instrument Playing a violin. And she's the female. She's the snitch. So we want to send... Room service to, f to f uh, five. Pull cord. Insert parcel into tube. Should we send it to... Who are we going to send it to? Five? I think we should send it to five. Uh, right, first class cabin to cabin transport. Door locked in case of emergency. Uh, Right. 
So how do we unlock it? Let's close that. Make them think that it's not an emergency. There must be something else I've missed. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Uh, right, so what else have we got that we can mess about with? I was confused. There's a tape transmitter, but we've never had a tape. We only opened three doors. One, two, three. And as far as I can tell, there was no other. Unless there was one on the other side. No. Do you think the fourth door only opens when you've got all of them lit up at the same time? Like when you've got... Maybe I should have left them all on when I was doing the puzzle? Let's see if this works. Was the last one again? Oh, it was on the front of that, wasn't it? It's bottom left, bottom right. <sighs> right, that didn't work. I was really, I was kind of hoping that it would. <laughs> Four. Four. Feet, my hands. I've got another stun grenade. jealous of all the fun you're having. Anyway, send the defector something agency related to make contact. Right, so the defector is probably the violin player in room five. We got sent a cigar which maybe has a way to open the fourth door on it and we want to send this to number five. Not number six. No. Thank you. Uh, okay. Another earpiece. I'd have to put that in my other ear. Listen closely. I'm only going to explain this once. Oh, no. I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will send you the intel you want. I did set fire to the pardon. Um, but, you know, it will still work. You just burned the only thing I cared about. 
The only reason I had to keep you alive. Goodbye. Oh. I didn't realise that saying fire it would have upset her. <laughs> but this time we can do it mad fast. Because I know what I'm doing. And I won't explode things by accident. I won't smash windows. We can do this. So, uh, we don't need the tea. Attention ladies and gentlemen. The train has run into a, a bit of a problem. But don't worry, we will sort it out and have you moving again shortly. For your safety, please remain in your cabin. Okay, so we've got the pardon. Uh, we can do that one as well. Uh, the other one was on this, but only when you burn it. This isn't the pardon, you know. Right, good. So it's those three. One, two, three. You know what? We'll keep them up there. <laughs> we'll just just keep them up there then. Okay. And we can put this in. Well done. I have a small favor to ask that has nothing to do with work. This is a vacation after all. <laughs> Oddly enough, a Zora. Great job. Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. Alright, we're gonna chuck all these bolts because <laughs> they're getting in my way. And... Oh, it's because it's. Because I've not smashed the window. It's fine, we'll just move them out of the way then. I need to have the, the phone up first, though, don't I? You got the gift, right? Good bed. Look at that. A free gift. I couldn't be more jealous of all the fun you're having. Anyway, send the effect <laughs> something agency-related to make contact. Gonna be delighted with me this time. I think you're supposed to send stun grenades to like one and uh, six. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Put it on my other ear. Listen closely. I'm only going to explain this once. I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will send you the intel you want. Sounds like a good deal to me. Oh, thank you. I can now pursue my music wherever it takes me. The device I sent has what you want. The combination is the date of my birthday. And oh, that... I can't believe it. They killed her. Uh, get that device open, Agent. Do you think you can save her by sending the stun grenades to one in six? I'll try that next time. What was it? It's her birthday. So is it 30th October? Smudged out. Start plans on retiring the day after as a birthday present to herself. Thirty days has September, April, June, and November. All rest of thirty-one, so thirty-one days in October. Nineteen. Nineteen 
There's only three digits though. Is there anywhere else that says what the year is? Maybe I, even, I didn't even need the year. <laughs> oh, that's blurred out as well, isn't it? Maybe the year isn't important. Hundred and twenty five concert tour. Tuesday. Sunday. It ends with a recital on Tuesday. The star plans on retiring the day after Tuesday, so there'll be Wednesday. And this is Sunday. <laughs> so Monday would be 31st, Tuesday would be 1st of November, Wednesday would be 2nd of November. 2.11? Is that a stretch? Am I reaching here for the solution to the puzzle? 2.11? Are we going for that? Star plans on retiring the day after as a birthday present to herself. So two eleven. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that's that's a good start, John. Well done. Insert that tape into the reader. It will transmit the defector's intel to us. Perfect. We're receiving the data. Hmm. Transmitting it has apparently alerted Zor's assassins to your position. Good for them. Uh, room service. <laughs> Jeez, oh. Oh, oh yeah, no. How long does this take to go off? <laughs> Why is this not going off? Did that work on the baddies as well? The old gun through the mail slot trick. I used to do that at the office when I was an agent. I was asked to stop. <laughs> Jeez, oh, where's it going? Where's it coming for? Ah, the old spear through the ceiling trick. <laughs> Never got a chance to do that one at the office. Is that guy coming up? Is <laughs> some holiday or... Is he coming in? Is he coming in here? Oh yeah! Jeez! Oh my god! Okay, I've not got any bullets left. Oh! Vulcan Raven, man! Yes! Vulcan Raven! Metal Gear Solid 1! Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> it would seem Zora underestimated both of us. You impress me. But let's not celebrate quite yet. I know. Zora's backup is on its way. No. We've received reports of a low-flying aircraft in your area. Pilots these days, don't they know that could be dangerous? Oh, shig shigga. Oh, yeah. I probably could have, actually. Is that it? Have we done it now? So I don't know how to... Um... You're brave, as well as clever. But if we're going to get out of this, you're going to need a bigger gun. Ooh. the fire button for there do you think? What a game. Can I get in there? How would I make that fire? For over here. Definitely don't want killed. Drop something on the button, good shout. Right, next hit, next run. I would be the worst spy, like. They're coming round again. That looks close enough. Sugar. <laughs> it's intense. Right, come on. Come on. Oh no, that didn't work. See when he's away, I'm gonna reach forward as much as I can. Oh, damn, damn to damn, damn, damn. I'm going to recalibrate as well when it's done. Okay. Wait, that didn't move us at all, really. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. It feels so much like I've got it. Like I've sussed how to do it. Oh, he's shooting my guns off my table and everything. Uh, I just can't. Confused. I'm kinda of stuck. I didn't use a ton of bullets either, did I?
Right, that's not working. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to use the good to see you smoking heads. You feel sick? What's up with you? You know well. Or is it my gameplay? Footage of me playing this making you feel well. Uh, any ideas? Anybody? So I'm, I'm out. I don't know what to do. I feel like if I put that in there it's going to go on fire. This is intense. I've got a grenade there, but I feel like I'm going to need it. Let me sit forward and maybe actually I'll try and get that next time the guide runs around. Sugar. No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there might be. I panicked. On the wall. Light them up, but not them no, off. it's the same message. Sorry, what, what was the other thing that was said there? I'm just going to check. Puzzle breaking skills second in. <laughs> no, I've done amazing. You should have seen everyone leading up to this. You've no idea what I've went through. Maybe you have. You've maybe been in all along. The pillow. The pillow is quite big. Come on, you can push a button with that. I think it's becoming obvious to me that this isn't the solution, but it should be. <laughs> it should be the solution. Honey, there's nothing else really that I can use, is there? Because that button obviously looks like... <laughs> oh, I think actually... Can he hink? Close the curtain and hide. I think he's smashed my curtain. He shot my blind up. Uh. Oh, this is weird, man. I don't know what to do. Uh. Do you think I can use the kettle to put out the fire and then I can use the button? No, the kettle isn't pouring anymore. I'm out of tea. That's what I was thinking, maybe maybe something with like liquid in it to put out the fire, but this is maybe getting a bit far fetched now. The only thing left is throw a stun grenade, but if I need that for something else... I think I can send the gun. No, I can't. Get troll. <laughs> So stumped. I don't even know. I can't even. I seemingly can't get this to do anything. Like I can turn it round. <laughs> That's all there's left for me now. So I can do it. At least I can eat a donut, eh? At least I can eat this donut before I get shot to bits. 
don't want to get killed though, because I've made it made it too far. There's nothing else I can do. Nothing else I can touch. Just that. So you can move that about. That nah, can he raise the turret? Oh, I can. I can pick this up. That looks flammable, though. I'm ready to drop it in when that plane comes back. Though I tell you that. Oh, that might have been a mistake. That was perhaps a mistake. Because I don't think I can get that back now. Yeah, I don't I don't see that coming back. Do you think that was the solution to? <sighs> yes! Right, get out of here. Stop messing up. Stop. Whatever's happening, stop. <laughs> I need to recalibrate. Oh my god. Get all this to F. <laughs> Oi, this away. Oh, I'm not going to pick up that stun grenade in case I blow myself up. Right. Oh no, it doesn't open. It doesn't. The lid doesn't come off. And I can't pour anything out it. And I gave away my lighter. Toss it. <sighs> oh my god. Right, I think that's me got rid of that big time this time. Shoot it, no bullets, no bullets, man. This is mental. I'm so sure that this is the right answer, but it's not working. I'm ready to cheat, I think. I'm ready to just know the answer now. Uh, I'm thinking of it. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of it. Because I've tried, I've tried everything that... I'm dead. And somebody's trying to phone me. That's what I get. I was ready to cheat. Right, gas explosion. He shot... He shot the thing that I was holding. Oh my god, I have to date everything again. A couple of bits I got dead lucky last time as well. Right, come on then, speed run it. So, try not to spell T everywhere. Ah, <laughs> so. That's the pardon, isn't it? So don't set fire to that. That can go away. Right, uh, this one. Put the earpiece in. Well done. I have a small favour to ask uh, that, that has nothing to do with work. This is a vacation, after all. <laughs> Oddly enough, a Zor agent is aboard your train and wishes to help us by defecting to our side. It's quite the coincidence that you'd both be on the same train. Really, what are the chances? Find out which cabin they're in by tapping into the phone system. Great job. Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. 
Look at that. A free gift. I couldn't be more jealous of all the fun you're having. <laughs> anyway, send the defector something agency related to make contact. Oh. Five. Agency related. And then we send the pardon. Right, so gas gas explosion is right. But I don't want it to gas explode me. There. I still didn't know. I still didn't know how to solve the end bit. I'm going to get up to that bit again and get killed at a different section. Try to put this on my ear, but it's no for having it. There Listen closely. I'm only going to explain this once. I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will send you the in. Oh, thank you. I can now pursue my music wherever it takes me. The device I sent has what you want. The combination is the date of my birthday. And I... Well done. One last thing. Perfect. We're receiving the data. Hmm. Transmitting it has apparently alerted Zor's assassins to your position. Good for them. Uh, room service. Trigger. Go off. <laughs> the panic. Ah, the old gun through the mail slot trick. I used to do that at the office when I was an agent. I was asked to stop. Shoot yourself. <laughs> oh, the spear guy. The spear guy, I forgot, I forgot. Ah, the old spear through the ceiling trick. Never got a chance to do that one at the office. Bang. Wait, how did how how did I deal with this last time? When he appeared and started going mental. Did I just shoot? No, it was a grenade. He flung a grenade, didn't he? <laughs> it cheers it. Oh, there's too much stuff on the table. There you go. Right. So that's us back up. That was record time there. It would seem no, that was... Honestly, I appreciate it. You impress me. But let's not celebrate quite yet. Zor's backup is on its way. We've received reports of a low-flying aircraft in your area. Pilots these days. Don't they know that could be dangerous? Right, that didn't work. My plan to sort of hover that at him. <laughs> Okay. You're brave, as well as clever. But if we're going to get out of this, you're going to need a bigger gun. I know. That gun, eh? Think that'll explode? Lift it out? Sugar, I need to grab the. There we go. Resubscriber? Thanks for what? Oh, had some boy. Thank you so much. Jeez. Right, what? <laughs> What's happening? How do you solve this? Can he pour in on it? <laughs> oh, sugar. What, what am I to do here? What is a boy to do? Scrambled egg all over my face. Uh, what else have we got here? 
we got any tea left? We have right, let's try and put out that fire. It's not that one, is it? I don't know what to do. I'm sorry for aggravating these men. I've got two stun grenades, right? So we can take a risk this time that I didn't take last time and just pop. <laughs> Let's pop that in there. Explode! <laughs> that was quite good uh, synchronicity there as I stared at the stun grenade. That didn't work either, so we can scrub that one off. I'm ready for cheating now. <laughs> I'm ready to know how it's done, because it's beat me. I've been bested here. That explodes when shot, right? He just shot my teacup. I for real don't know what to do. I've tried everything available. Uh, no, it's just the... As soon as I go, as soon as it goes blue, it just moves the turret. I'm gonna try, see if my powers are strong enough to move the car towards me. Nah, they're not. They're nowhere near strong enough to do that. The only blue hang that's coming up is that. I need a bigger gun. Be good if you could just yank that gun out of there, though, eh? I think I've done it. I think, I've, I think I know how to do it now. Yes! Yes! Oh! I didn't need to cheat. Is it count? Is it? What's it? What you do? Stop! Yes! Just like in the movies. Remarkable. I didn't have to cheat. I was so close to cheating. <laughs> Yes! It's done. It is. I'm free. I'm free as well. I would tell you to come find me someday, but I get the impression you couldn't leave this life behind. Yeah. So instead, I will just say thank you. No, I can. I'm ready. Goodbye. I'm ready to leave the life behind. Play violin. Play an attack over. <laughs> Transmission received. Well done, agent. Listen, we're going to need you back at the office as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed your all-expense-paid <laughs> vacation. Jesus. Oh, that reminds me. We're going to need you to pay for all of those expenses. Granting amnesty to defectors is not cheap. I see. I see. Yeah, isn't it cheap? <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I finally did it, though. Not even really sure. Well, I did definitely, but the gun started firing when it was pointing at me. Yes, that did count as your vacation. And you just used all of your days. Welcome back. I've not got enough room for all my... Where are they going to get me to put... Oh, these? Speedrun in three minutes, ten seconds. Stunned. Cloche call? What would cloche... Boom plane. Finally useful and tea time. That's weird. I didn't. I didn't do any of the wee special souvenir parts for that one. What am I going to do with with this? Am I just going to set them there like that? The opening credits are incredible in this game. I'm ready for more though. 
mean, that was a stressful situation, but I'm ready for a seat of power. Our train defector had information about Zor's next big move. It's something called the Death Engine, and you must get more intel on it before it's put to use. We're sending you just outside Madrid to infiltrate a Zoraxis facility, retrieve information on the Death Engine, and get out alive. Good luck. The Death Engine. Is that the real time they know, by the way? Is that real life time? as well. You, you did sub, eh? Had some man. Some man. Unbelievable. What are you saying? He be subbing the house. Amazing. Right. Sorry. Seat of power. The death, the death, uh, what was it? Death machine. Can't be as hard as that last one, but I've been thinking that about every level so far. Oh, nice. Gonna recalibrate as well. Well done sneaking in. We know that Death Engine Intel is something. Death in Engine, here. sorry. Got your machine name wrong. Roll call Professor X Ray's performance evaluation as a team motivating exercise. Death engine demonstration makes Spanish class mandatory. Sounds like somebody's coming up the stair. Who have we got here? Daniel Sands? Like Daniel San? Hive Mind. What's that one over there? I can't even read that name. Let me push the Z button. The Z button. Cigars and a lighter. Excellent. I don't know what's the matter with me. Like, <laughs> I have to set fire to everything in this game. Like, there was uh, nothing extra on that. Get some cigars out just in case the guys want cigars when I'm talking, demonstrating the death. Engine. Is it under there, do you think? Let's move some of that off of there because it looks like this might open. Just pop them down there. No, oh, it's not opening yet. Hive mind. Oh, sugar. Charlie Caliente. So one is missing. Oh, I think I get that sword out of the build up. It's not a sword at all, it's a handle. Handle for oh, there's other names on the. We got oh, that's the the violinist to the last one. Professor X Ray. We put Professor X Ray up here. Is that is that like a countdown until they burst in and go what? Who are you? That kind of patter. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Right. <laughs> I think I've just caught what they would call in the industry a grip. A wee bit. Not that I worry about Zor's collection, but do try not to make too much noise. I'm trying, man. Try to be fast as well, though. They're going to come and do me. I'm not allowed in here. 
definitely not allowed in here. Welcome, Dr. Zor. I'm Dr. Zor. <gasps> you were Zor all along. <laughs> Seriously, though, remember what you're after, Agent. It's the death agent. It is. Hey, let's have a quick nosy at every other thing in the room. Because thankfully I managed to get that together quicker than they expected. Okay, so what is this for, do you think? What do we jam this into? Is that just for smashing? Yep, we could smash that with that. Uh, so many buttons, many buttons to push. Dangerous looking buttons. So we start on this side, just start flipping switches. Okay, that, that flung up a, a night vision goggle type thing here. Ooh. Ooh, a key. Uh, what is that for? Let's put that there then. Uh, seems to be like a dynamite or something in there and it's a f it's fused. So that's going to be good fun. Oh, there's a scorpion over there. It's a pipe. Okay, we're going to push some more buttons. Should I take this off? What happened there? Just send it down to the bad fire? That way all of them are pressed down. Don't think that changed anything. Right. Let's look around a bit more with this. I think I've seen everything the red glasses have to show me, except for that. The thing down there. Okay, let's take them off. Put that over there. What about this? Oh, sugar. Turn it off. Turn it off. What's the other one do? The other one opens a thing for a key. Is this a gas mask? It's not a gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Don't push the neurotoxin button. I can do everyone else mad fast, though, in that level. Don't push Neurotoxin button. I should have pushed the big red square to see what it does as well. I uh, definitely... Oh, wait! Aye, uh, that box only appeared once I pushed the well Neurotoxin done, button. In. We know that death engine intel is somewhere in here. Just bring everyone up. Everyone we need. Okay, so. Uh, I think it might be like. There's been levels like that. Oh, not sugar. that I worry about Zor's collection, but do try not to make too much noise. I'm trying, man. Just calm down. <laughs> welcome, Dr. Zor. Yes, welcome me. Uh, that thing. What was that even for so far? It wasn't really for anything, was it? That's that's what these kind of games make me feel like, you know, Sam and Max, Broken Swords. Like, VR seems really well suited to uh, point-and-click adventures. Like, there was a great one um, called Floor Plan, and you're just in a, a lift. A... Uh, and that was really clever how it all came together. I was rubbish at it, but it was great. <laughs> they are like all oh, the ones, the ones where you're no moving, like they're so free from nausea and like it becomes second nature. Uh, what did I do to get the other things? <laughs> this guy's chair. This guy's chair. 
That's <laughs> how so you get cigars as well, but they're not really essential. Okay, so if I get that, should I have them on when I put the thing on, do you think? I mean, it's fine, like, for those, for the people who are, like, you know, the evolved folk that are able to play the games when, uh, <laughs> you can as well. Let's check this. Stogies. Right. What's for dinner? It's stogies for dinner. So, I'm going to put that away. Put, pop it back in there with its pals and set fire to away them at the same time. Just made a mess over there. Right, so as soon as I hit that, there was a key that I've not picked up. There it is. It's hidden. So when I take that off, where is that key? Hidden under there, that's why, right. So we're going to put that on. We're going to put this key in our hand and we're going to hit the neurotoxin button and hope like hell that there's something in this thing that popped up. It's not popped up. Oh, no. Got the gas mask. I pushed the red button as well, though. I'm not really clear on what that does. Good. We didn't die. We've got a gas mask on. Some money. I can't believe somebody already got in there. Who's in there? Security harness. We're getting in there one way or another. You think the hive mind has more bees? What? Oh. Zero one zero one. Zero one zero one. What would that mean? They're gonna burst in here and do me like I'm not supposed to be in here. Zero one zero one. What are we thinking? What are we got? Do you think zero one zero one's to do with these? There's five of them though, there's only supposed to be four. Oh sugar. Keypad somewhere, right, right, right. That's what. Let's see if I can see underneath my seat. No. Keys in that. Nothing else happening. So going from the bottom. Like zero, one, zero, one. This button? This button? <laughs> I've hammered all the buttons. This thing though, this thing still hasn't been used really. Take the sun hidden under the money. No, don't fall down there. I should maybe take my red special red glasses off. <laughs> You're stumped already. That's what this game's like. Has you stumped and then and then you you stumble upon it just by accident. Must be something here, eh? This package will engage if your location is under imminent threat, which it is. So on the chair is an activation panel, security harness. That uh, this button uh, makes the gas come out. I 
like how the clocks in the game are the real time in the real world. The right button? What does that button do on its own? I don't think it does anything. Button above the chair. Oh, that! That opened the uh, my cigar drawer. Sorry, <laughs> that took me ages there. I was like, "What is he one of it? What button? Right, zero dash one dash zero dash one. There's nothing else in there." Is it to do with the elevator door? Zero and one? One of those on the other side? Nah, there's not one there. I think. <laughs> Let me zoom down. Zoom down in the chat. Right, there's one of those on the other side. How do you open that one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Aye, true. That is there. I don't know, it's maybe just for symmetry. You know how these baddies are, man, they're obsessed with symmetry. Aye, there is, there is. Start jamming this into it. <laughs> you think the big red button would have done something terrifying, but it hasn't. It? So, what have we got? We've got 0101. I could set fire to this, but I feel like... There's a data slot down here. Yeah. Where's my red glasses? I've already looked under this seat. I don't think there was anything. Hmm. I could get the scorpion out. Like, I could use this to... And a lot of bees. Oh, sugar. All right, here goes. Let me know if this is big enough for bees. Where's that going? I spy with my little eyes something that is bees. <laughs> bees. Oh my God. Ah. Dash. No, my bees. <laughs> you will ruin the day, agent, that you cross the hive mind. <laughs> that was scary. Right. So that was Hive Mind then, right? Are they all coming down for a go then? So whatever I did there. Is that because I smashed the scorpion? I feel like I smashed the scorpion after. <laughs> the bees are in my eyes. He thought it was a great idea. <laughs> Blue torch. How do we stop that from happening? <laughs> hey. I mean, that's he's going to get in. Come on, today. He's going to get in. How are we going to? How are we going to stop that from happening? What have we got that we could? used to put an end to that kind of behaviour. Is that horse cutting through or what? It does seem to be like it's cutting through plenty quick for me. Mm. <laughs> uh, I have nothing else to I fling don't at them. Care if it was a birthday present. It's a slow blow torch. It's given me all this time. I really should have thought of something by now, shouldn't I? Zero one, zero one. Time to heat the booze. Oh my god. Right, how do you how do you stop getting burnt to death? By a flamethrower. How do you stop that from happening? <laughs> what have I got in there that stops? Ah, uh, burnt. Right. <laughs> we 
still done sneaking in. <laughs> we know that death engine intel is somewhere in here. Hi, the scorpion. The scorpion ran away. I was thinking that I could maybe like... Oh, sugar. Are they not getting started a bit early today? It's only going to go to level 2, isn't it? Right. Okay. Right, let's do it then. I'm still not really clear what, what this is for. We'll set it over there. Right, let's do everyone. Let's do all the things we know how to do. And try and think of a way to... Uh, That I worry about Zor's collection, but do try not to make too much noise. Try and think of a way to stop the flamethrower guy from doing me in. Welcome, Dr. Zor. Get them on my skull. Get the key. So the key was for the red button, this one, wasn't it? So that's what that button does. And that gives me the gas mask, which we may as well just put on now. And it gives me this, which had 0101 written on it. Alright. Now there is still things happening in there, but... I mean, who the hell knows how to do anything about that? See, it looks like you could... On that or something. Maybe this. Oh, right, right, right. Oh. Ah, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Unmistakable. Sometimes I do miss field work. It's a combination lock mechanism, but that's dynamite, and those are, uh, you know. What's happening now? Oh, I have to get all of them round like like that. It's mad I didn't even notice this last time. Oh my goodness. Nice. Not nice. Death engine use. Notifying security personnel. No, I'm sorry, you don't have to do that. Actually, you know what? Notify them away. Do it. <laughs> oh, right, right. That's the intel we need. Now, find a way to get it out of Oh, it's the flame. What? Targeting. <laughs> what did that do? Where was the bees guy? I thought they were sending the bees guy down, no the flamer. <laughs> Instantly. Flamer's getting too good at his job. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm doing it. How many hours in am I? Should I start well this about three o'clock? We know that death engine intel is somewhere in here. I don't even think I need that thing out of there, but you know. Alright, I'm not gonna get that thing out of there. Right, how do we stop a flamer from doing me in? I didn't have the scorpion ready, but to be honest I didn't expect the flamer to be on the scene quite as swiftly as that. It's weird thinking that that's what that was for. Uh, I did a, I've, I'm forgetting the order that, that I'm doing this in now. I remember. If I smash it off of there, I feel Not that I worry about out. Zor's collection, but do try not to make too much noise. Welcome, Dr. Zor. <gasps> you were Zor all along. <laughs> Seriously, though. Remember what you're after, Agent. It's the death engine. 
<laughs> it's the death engine. Is it random? Is it random where they can appear, do you think? So that's what we needed from there, right? Should I solve this again? Yeah, so that one of bees attacks. That one brings up that. That's cool, you can actually open it, you don't need to smash it. What do you think the red button actually... Lockdown that's, mode engaged. That's what I need Notifying to do. Security personnel. I think. What do you mean notifying security? Oh, sugar. Right, maybe I maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Unmistakable. Sometimes I do miss feel Do you think this flamethrower is a bit excessive? Open up! Who locked this elevator? Me. Unauthorized death engineers. Be, be here in like five the guy with the bees is coming in five minutes. Right. So the death engine... Should I use it? Targeting. Tokyo. Death engine activation in... Ten minutes. Are targeting Moscow. Targeting Cairo. Targeting London. Yes, I mean no. <laughs> Targeting Madrid. Uh, Imminent threat detected. Engaging evacuation mode. Los Angeles. Oh my god, what is all this? Oh no, zero one zero one. I remember zero one zero one. Uh, seatbelt. Seatbelt. Where's my seatbelt? You may have bested these bumbling henchmen, Avery, but uh, can you bet that? these bumbling what is that bit? bees? What, oh, the bees! The bees! <laughs> ah, the bees are in my eyes. No, Activation panel. My bees. Security harness. Let it be known, Agent. What is that one? The last you've seen of me, the hive mind. <laughs> the hive mind. Uh, that's not right, is it? What is that? What is that? What is that? What else is there? I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, compact booster mark two. Defense. What is that? What's that top bit? Activation panel. Data what? Oh my yeah, god! Right, he's got the blowtorch. And now we're cutting the door down. Looks like the goggles. Is it? Put the goggles on. No, nah, it's not the goggles. Death engine activation in eight Data minutes. Focusing eight. ignition matrix. Eight minutes. I'm going to be burnt to Can death. I can't up figure up. it out. Uh, oh, sugar. That's appeared. What would we put in there? Warning. Death engine data. Yes! That's the intel we need. That's now, it. Find a way to get it out of there intact. Chair launch sequence initialized. Do it. Five. Do it now. Four. No countdown. Three. Get me out. Two. Now. One. Faster. Lift you pick up that yes. <laughs> oh, this is a really good game. That was only five minutes. Standing work, agent. Our extraction team is standing by as you figure out how to land your flying armchair. Yeah, that is a good point, actually. <laughs> what a game this is. Very clever puzzles. Gets me freaking out, though. Well done retrieving the death engine intelligence agent. Now, we seconds. just have to wait for it to be decrypted. It's already in the door slot. Looks like the team in decryption is taking their job seriously. Unlike someone I know. Is he talking about me? What's that? It's what plants crave to be or not to be. Wonder if you can grab a bee when they're flying at you. Smokey the bull. 
Do you think if you've got a cigar on, do you think that would stop it? Mission accomplished. Quite a lot of levels though. We souvenirs for the last couple of missions cutting about as well. I guess that's if you get all of the accomplishments. How many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Operation Death Engine. The data rail you retrieved from Madrid revealed that the Death Engine is a weapon that appears to be, well, in Earth's orbit. You must infiltrate Zorax's Space Corporation. We don't know where the weapon is aiming, but we must stop it before it fires. You took a pass-fail elective in astronomy, yes? Well, I hope you passed. <laughs> Operation Death Engine. It's a different colour for the rest of them. We drink a juice there, sorry. So, are we doing more? I think I've been in here for uh, four hours. <laughs> Reality's gonna seem weird again when I take off the VR helmet. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah. <laughs> Amazing. When I said infiltrate, I didn't think you'd hijack a personnel shuttle. <clears throat> I'm impressed. <laughs> Our intelligence tells us the death engine is run by a single Zoraxis operative who will likely mistake you for a hench person. Remember, Agent, destroy the death engine at all costs. Personnel shuttle, you're cleared for docking. Come in, shuttle. Um, hello? Of course, they sent me an assistant at the worst possible time. Hello. Brace for impact! Death engine activation. Is that a kill What could you do? Whoa. Uh, Glorious, isn't she? Oh I get chills goodness. every time she fires. Death engine activation <laughs> in 10 minutes. Right. Lost self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. We have more orange juice. Oh, that's good. Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. Erratic target and activity that preceded this order. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Automatic computer? One, four, three, Who three. wouldn't want to do their own computing? One, four, three, three. Nice, we got some juice. What we got here? We got some meat flavoured food ration. Just float that about. And we've got some uh, orange drink. Caesar Axis yes. extended their contract with Juicy Core. I see. I can mess with those buttons, but they don't seem to do anything, thankfully. Bleep blip. There's a weaver. We probably shouldn't do that. There's a camera looking right at me. So the password's 1433 for something. What else have we got in here that I've missed? Ooh. What is that? It's a bolt removing... Uh, Nice. Looks like some fuses are blown. Lucky for you, the important one is still good. That toilet. <laughs> is that what that is? If I can send hanging into space, 
Life support, ground control, auxiliary, airworks. I don't see a need to mess with gravity. Not that you can with the circuit off. I suppose. Baby, you're telling me. Don't want me to mess with gravity. Life support is more important than gravity control, isn't it? Do we have any spare fuses? Do keep in mind that shuts down life support as well. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I, I should have thought about that. Uh, what else have we got in here? So the sign's going to plug into that, right? think there was anything else. Fuse box. Fuse slots. Power. Fuse box contains fuses protecting shuttles major circuits. Always shut off power to the fuse box before replacing fuses. To prevent damage to the shuttle, only use type OR, 0R fuses. Okay. All those fuses are knackered. All your fuses are belong to EFT. The system maintains a cabin environment needed for human survival. An audio visual alert will signal low oxygen amounts. Okay. Gravity control. Gravity direction, gravity polarity, gravity crystal. Ah, there it is. Hmm. Okay. Major vectors can be set to affect gravity in all nearby connected craft interiors. Power down system before replacing gravity crystal. We have to try to play. <laughs> Aye. The working one. I think you're right, like. I think you're right. Um, auxiliary power. Auxiliary circuit supplies power to the universal's socket plug in the shuttle's console, right? So the third one down, auxiliary power. Air locks. Death engine activation in five minutes. Oh, Sit yeah. tight. We do have security protocol for a reason. Yeah. Uh, the system powers the shuttle's airlock doors. The shuttle's cockpit has two buttons to control both inner and outer doors. The airlock system also powers the waste management system. Keep the lid down when using WMS. Ah, of course. Toilet. Disposal chamber, flush button, shoot exterior is behind it. Right. Okay. What we got? Access panel, reactor, death engine. That's it there. That one out there. So that's the access panel to the reactor that gets us to the death engine, right? right. Death engine is armed with an orbital laser capable of precision strikes on Earth's surface. Ion cannon ready. Due to safety concerns, the nuclear reactor powering the death engine only accessible for servicing from outside of the station. Cool. So we learned a lot there. <laughs> I don't think I'm in a, a spacesuit. I should be. Oh, sorry, it's in my face. Right. Station interior. Docking bay. Magnetic arm. I see it. I see the magnetic arm. Is that... We want to use that to wheak us into the docking bay. Which looks like it's through there. Yeah. Okay. Electromagnetic arm, or EMA. We know that Zaraxxus Industries is responsible for the past six natural disasters. With all of us working together, <laughs> the next six can be ours as well. 
Okay, it's a robotic document and cargo handling tour, human, uh, tool. human operation is possible using a manual control override that is supplied in every docking bay. Exercise extreme caution during operation. Impact case, arm controller, socket input. Where is the impact case? Where is that? Is that behind me? No. Huh. So I don't know where the impact case is. It should have a Z on it, apparently. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's out there. Okay. So are we going to just start messing with, uh, with fuses now? It did say to switch it off, didn't it? Fuse box. Uh, always shut off power to fuse box before replacing fuses. Okay. So what one are we going to put in first? Gravity control doesn't seem important, does it? Air locks. Pushing button just now. Is that what we're going for? Going for air work? You know you need that one to breathe. Star wave? Radiation detected? How much radiation? That engine activation. I think I was going for it the right way. <laughs> it didn't let me grab the the hang for miles away. Try it again, right? All right. There's radioactive waste in your ducting bay. You can get to that after you're cleared by ground control. Okay. Lesson one of oh, space sugar. internships. You need. Oh, and I didn't switch it off. <laughs> I electrocuted myself. Electric shocks and burns. Maybe flush. Uh, maybe. No, that would... I wouldn't be able to fit it in there, would I? Remember, Agent. Destroy this station at all costs. Oh, was it? Oh, is that <laughs> Nice. Oh, my cigar. Isn't she something? It never gets old to see her fire. That's close. engine activation again. Ten minutes. Right. Note so. Yourself. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are well, low. Okay. So. Get the drill out. Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. Switch that out for a minute so you can pop the other one. This ones. is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Okay. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Right, so switch that off and try something else. So you think the airwalks one had activated the toilet, yeah? Probably gonna have to try everything. Don't keep in mind that shuts down most of as well. You're right. Okay, lesson one of space internships. You need oxygen to live. How's the oxygen work? Because I had the hang open and I was sucking all the air out like a maniac. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> you don't. Uh, should we try messing with ground control? No, it's gravity control. Auxiliary? We try auxiliary. You know you need that one to breathe. What does auxiliary do? Again, I forgot. 
It powers that thing, doesn't it? I've not got anything for that thing yet, so we'll just pop that back in there just now. Get the oxygen back up. <laughs> uh, so, what else are we going to do here? Uh, can that be plugged in? No. Open the airlock doors. <laughs> then flush the toilet. With the lid up. Oft. Okay. So, switch that off. Grab that. Put it there. Switch it back on. Open the doors. Alright. There's radioactive waste in your gut can Dead. <laughs> Instantly dead. Radioactivity. That was far more radioactive than it was uh, the last time. <laughs> Managing to get my character to die. <laughs> right, what's the quickest route to the death engine? <laughs> Remember, Agent, this station must be destroyed at any cost. That engine activation. Hmm. Oh, I do believe the best way to destroy the death engine. What stores the death engine? Oh, sugar, the. You still alive in there? Yep. Death engine activation in 10 minutes. Note to self check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. So I've basically got ten minutes. Where's that camera feed? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is that engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. So those just what? pop, right? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. There must be something I can't see, yeah. There must be something I've made a screaming mess of already. Beep boop. Boop bop. Beep boop. We start piping in the hot jazz for me to listen to. Cool. I read all of this stuff, but it was just, uh, I don't think there was much. I had a code Automatic for something. Computer? Who wouldn't want to do their own computing? One, four, three, three. Three, three, right? Yeah, airlock powers waste management system. Think I should flush something? My drill. Did they finally approve my blaster design? Oh, wait. That's just a bolt driver. <laughs> or a bolt driver then. Ping it through the window. <laughs> uh, I'm really stuck. I do not know. I think it's probably because I've been solving puzzles for four and a half hours and my brains went, ah. 
<risa> eh... So the, the gravity... Does it need a new crystal? What did you say? I, I don't see a that. need to mess with gravity. Not that you can with the circuit off. Ah, the, the gravity circuit's off. So we should mess about with gravity, right? That's what she's telling me. Do keep what in one mind was gravity that shuts again? Down life support as well. Was that gravity? Ooh. Dr. Zor, uh, what a uh, unexpected surprise. Obviously. That's hardly uh, my problem, is it? I see. Yes. No. Maybe. I'll take care of it, I suppose. Understood. I said I understand. Well, well, well. You're far from home, aren't you, agent? To think that I almost removed that radioactive waste from your docking bay. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. <laughs> I'll read it while I watch you squirm. Uh, right, so they're on to me. They know, um... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! I think we're getting somewhere. Kinda. I mean, we've moved that closer. Set engine activation in five minutes. Just keep that off. You're draining the batteries. Right, that will only work without the crystal. No, obviously. Make sure. And obviously, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> Leave the crystal in. Remember Pop this in there. The death engine must be destroyed at any cost. I can do this. I can do this. Honestly, we're not quite sure what the death engine's capable of. The death engine's capable of ripping my big hole in my. G control. The major Tom. Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. Okay. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well. No. That's bad. Send it away. Jesus oh, Christ. Not that yet. I'll okay. put you to work as soon as I can confirm no. your arrival with ground control. Okay. Oh no, maybe. Right, 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 right. Come at him for all. This is that engine commander Solaris. Clearance 20 R7. Yes, they're here now. What? Did. <laughs> it's quite a lot to remember. I think what I was trying to do there was I was trying to make enough room for the the one on the right hand side, the one I want that is near the deadly radiation. <laughs> remember, Agent. Destroy the death engine at all costs. I'm trying. Death engine activation. No, I don't know. There we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's because it wants me to look at that, but I'm too busy. Uh, Note to self. You know, Targeting things. module needs to be recalibrated. Okay. Oh, and the first failure. Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera feed? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20 R7. Oh, no, no, don't send them back. Yes, they're send here now. Forward. What? I'm looking right send at them. them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Dr. Zor, something exciting oh, must be going on sugar. since you've decided No! To <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Right, I might have to try this again. <sighs> I'm knackered. Right, one more. One more shot. I keep getting the radioactive Remember one it. towards Destroy us this station at all costs. quicker than I would like. Is there a That's a good laugh. <laughs> Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you what to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. No. Green's the worst. This green kills me so quickly. Is it red or green? Actually, I'm not paying enough attention. <laughs> I'm not paying any attention. Ah, I'm pushing buttons and hoping that I'm going to stumble on it. But um, that's unlikely. One of them seems to just send the radioactive stuff directly to us. Remember, Richard, this station must be destroyed at any cost. That bit's still intense every time when it happens. Glorious, isn't she? I yes. Get chills every time she fires. There is good uh, different dialogue in between it, isn't it? Not to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are well. Okay, so when the gravity thing's happening. Green lifts. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with Red sends control. it directly towards me. Oh no, wait, wait. So if we do that, right? This is that engine and commander Solaris. Do that. Clearance two zero R seven. Yes, they're right. here now. What? And then do blue. I'm right at them. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel right, shuttle. Day and, uh, and then try yes, not to die. Because we're running out of oxygen. So we got both of them towards us. Dr. Zor, uh, what the uh, unexpected surprise. Obviously. So. That's hardly my problem, is it? I see. Yes. No. Maybe. I'll take care of nice. it. Nice, we did it, we did it. Right. Understood. Uh, not red anymore. I said I understand. Green. Then. Sure came a long way to accomplish Red. nothing, Agent. At least that nuclear waste is definitely nope. not my problem now. I received your file and there's more here and than I expected. What one makes it go left? You not that one, not that one. Must be blue. Not to self. Yes, Make right. Sure uh, off. On. On. To hull and not sliding all yes. over the damn station. Doing good, doing good. We're getting there, man. This is it. This is the closest I've been <laughs> to solving Just one keep part. Off. You're draining the batteries. Uh, what one is blue again? Right, that's good. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, nice. Uh, off and on. Oxygen. Now we're going to open the airlock. And try and grab the Z box. Uh, which. What part was that? Hey, that's not important. Uh, I need to do it quick, quick. <laughs> the airlock's gonna kill me as soon as I use it. Security on these new computing machines is horrendous. I'm sure future generations will solve this issue. Uh, oh yeah, it's not that, is it? Aye. So impact case, arm controller, socket input. It is that. So we'll get that, get that, plug it into there. I think. Let's try that. 
Uh, so switch that off. Switch it back on and then find the thing that tells you what the hell everything is again. That one. Let's just put that like there in front of the camera so you can't see me. Auxiliary. Third down. Airwalk, fourth down. Okay. So we're going to do that. Open the airwalk. Do you think I need to use the gravity hang to bring it towards me though? That was like one of those sliding missing block puzzle things to get that there. Right, airwalks, airwalks. You can't grab it, can you? Can't do both. Can only do one at a time. Hopefully it's close enough. So the code... Oh, I need to move it to the side slightly. I need to move it to the right-hand side so I can put the code in. Uh, so I'm going to need to do gravity again. What button made it go to the right? Is it blue? Did blue make it go to the right? Or is it red? I really need to... I should have... That should have been the first thing. Blue. Right. <laughs> it's high stress situations. Decided to end it all so soon. Nice. No, I haven't decided to end it all so soon. Being so cheeky for... <laughs> uh, right, we go for airwalks. I should really turn that on and get some oxygen on the go. Ugh. Uh, it's my ear. Right. Okay. Turn it off, and we're going for airwalks. What was the code? One, one, four... Sugar, I forgot the code. Five one, four, three, three. Right, right. Uh, okay. Nice one. One, four, three, three. Uh, open. Open, open. Sure, oh go ahead. Oh A little God. radiation can't hurt. Oh, why not open the other doors, Wes? Your glowing is normally a compliment, but not in your case. Get it? Because radiation poisoning? <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, <laughs> right, let's get some oxygen back in here. That did not go anywhere near according to plan. I can't really think. What was auxiliary for again? What was... Auxiliary used to give power to that, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> and that's a bolt thing. Ah, uh, auxiliary's a plug socket. So... Right, we'll just open the airwalk again really quickly try and do something with those things through there. Because I think realistically what it's wanting me to do is... I think I get it. I think it wants me to open that door, right? Then swap back. Use the gravity control. Blue. What's the one that brings it towards me? Blue is right. Is it red? I feel like red is the one that smashed it towards me. We'll try red, right? Watching you struggle with concepts like electricity really <laughs> puts me at ease. <laughs> so, so, we're gonna airwalk, hit that, gravity control, then back to airwalk, without electrocuting myself and without dying for radiation poisoning. This sounds highly unlikely. But I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I think it's what the game wants me to do. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Just queuing up the McMahon's intro music. No chance. <laughs> that's what you got. So, uh, let's try that. <laughs> I don't want to die, but we're going to try it as quick as hell. So, airwalks, G-control, 
life support. But also close that and open that with my left hand. Right, I'm ready. It's going to go wrong, but you know, we have to try. We have to try. It works. I'll hold my breath for extra added impact. Didn't we do well, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. <laughs> so, quick, quick maneuvers there mean that uh, everything went according to plan. I didn't get irradiated. They are going to fire that gun soon, though. Death engine activation in six seconds. Oh, wonderful! Wonderful! <laughs> That's great news. That is. Wonderful news, obviously. It does. What was it? One. Th uh, one. Uh, four. Three. Three. Yeah. Sugar. Is that on the right? Is it no one four three three? I'm gonna die. One four three three. That is. Oh, sugar, it's I'm dying. nice of you to stop wasting my oxygen. True. One four three three. Don't understand. Death engine activation. Ah. What? How? I don't understand. <laughs> it was 1433. Three. Maybe it isn't for that box. She changes it, you gotta do it before she's on to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a stressful one, like. One four three three. Right, let's do this fast as hell, right? Faster Remember than we could ever. The death engine must be imagine. destroyed at any cost. Oh, she said a line that she was changing. Oh, I do believe the best way to destroy the death engine. Ah, uh, isn't she something? It never gets old to see her fire. Death engine activation in 10 minutes. Note to self, check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. So green is up. Yeah. Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. Red is forward. Uh, blue is down. This is Death Engine no. Commander Solaris. No, Clearance two zero R seven. Is down. No. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. Oh, no. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Oh sh. Doctor Zor, something exciting must be going on since you've decided to talk to me. Are you serious? How incompetent can ground control get? I understand. Fine. Well, well, well. You're far from home, aren't you, agent? To think that I almost removed that radioactive waste from your docking bay. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. Messing no. with the gravity controller. What do you think that's going to accomplish? Oh, sugar. Eh? Oh, I've made such a Make screaming sure mess of this. Is securely fastened to hull and not sliding that's all it. over the that's it. That's it. Don't oh, let me die. Don't let me die. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. 
Has she changed it already? Because I've I've made such a mess of that back there. <laughs> Just keep that off. You're draining the batteries. Thank you. Uh, away from gravity control now. She's not onto me yet. Okay, got that, got that. Uh, airwalk. Uh, airwalk, then what? Airwalk gravity red. Airwalk gravity red. Top button. Airwalk is the bottom one, isn't it? Where's the, where's the thing? Airwalk is the bottom one, right, right, right. So, it work. I suppose oxygen starvation is not the worst way to go in your situation. Okay, very clever, but now what? Only I know the combination to the lock and it changes all the time. That's not what. Seek. Hi. She did. Backwards. Three, three, four, one. Damn it. This is hard. This is the hardest one so far, like. Batman, why are the numbers going all weird? It can't be backwards. <sighs> this is too hard. Do you think, she, do you think there's another mail that she sent? Aye, uh, the code's the... Aye, uh, the time. One, uh, 14.33. What's the time? 19.57. True. Do you think that's what it is? 1957. Let's try it. Good stuff, guys. I can't, I can't eat, honestly. This is so hard. 1958. Uh, one, nine, five, eight. Unbelievable! I know what a game! Wouldn't take Z -mail security seriously. Right, get that shot. Stop wetting all that radiation in. Get the oxygen on. Switch it off first, though. Then he's up yourself. <laughs> you are. You are smarter than me, like. Jeez. Right, air walks are dealt with, oxygen's looking good, we've got the mad arm, uh, so now we're going to not bother to, <laughs> auxiliary is the third one down, so we should really probably look quickly at the instructions on the, the mad arm again, shouldn't we? Uh, ox power, yep, no, uh, death engine. Wayne won't go back to bed, got kids are we? Uh, <laughs> uh, electromagnetic arm. I just burped there. We're using the magnetic arm to get the shuttle to the docking bay. Right? Human operation is possible using a manual control to override. Despite in every docking bay, exercise extreme caution during operation. Okay. Where is the, uh, am I not in the docking bay? <laughs> I 
Right, well, you know, we might as well see what's happening. <laughs> might as well try and understand. What was that last bit? Manual control that's supplied in everyone. Extreme caution during operation. Okay, are we ready? Are we going to give it a shot? Before we get killed. I cannot let you use that manipulator. Agent, I enjoyed your bumbling, but enough is enough. Aligning trajectory. Oh, oh, sugar. And catch. Catch what? Catch this. Oh, sugar. Did she do that? The void of space was what killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> At least I know the code, but... Where's my first shot on that arm? Remember, Agent. Destroy the death engine at I thought it would be the top of the thing. Yeah, I feel like I can get there Honestly, damn fast now, though. Damn fast. Get that cigar in that hole. <laughs> Such power. Are you still alive in there? Death engine activation in 10 minutes. Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Hey, gravity control. Where's that camera feed? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Oxygen, Dr. Zor, uh, what's an uh, unexpected surprise? Obviously. That's hardly my problem, is it? I see. Yes. <laughs> Got a good no. voice, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Control again. Where is it? I'll Where's take my... care of it, I suppose. Understood. I said I understand. Yes. My clipboard. Right. G control. You sure came a long way to accomplish nothing, Agent. At least that nuclear waste is definitely not my problem now. I received no, your I'm file, and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. Nice. Note to self. Make sure yes. that in our manual override no. container is securely fastened <laughs> to hull and not okay. sliding all over the damn station. Let's get the oxygen back. Then we'll try the code 2003 if we can get it in fast enough. I really need to stick that thing somewhere where I can actually see it. Just set it right there so that I can tell what's on. Uh, come on. Stay there. Right. Uh, airwalks. Airwalks and 2003. Okay. Just keep that off. You're draining the batteries. Uh. Sure, go ahead. A little radiation can't hurt. Oh, why not? Why did I get so well? killed by the radiation there? That was bad. Was it that fast last time? Right, so I need to go one, two, gravity can instant death. How did I electric? Oh, I'm so dumb. <sighs> Remember, agent. Destroy this station at all costs. In space, no one can even get exasperated by puzzles. That is true. That is true. Yes, yes. Not okay. Yourself. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, uh, low. Where's 
Oh, not that yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris, clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Uh, the way. Dr. Zor! Something exciting must be going on since you've decided to talk to me. Are you serious? How incompetent can ground control get? How incompetent can this guy get? I understand. Okay. Fine. Well, well, well. You're far from home, aren't you, agent? To think that I almost removed that radioactive waste from your docking bay. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. Okay. Airwalk. Gravity control. Airwalk. Outside button. Airwalk. Gravity control. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and remember not to, you know, electrocute yourself in between. Just keep that off, you're draining the batteries. Okay, very clever, but now what? Only I know the combination to the lock and it changes all the time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Airwalk 2006. And then find out what the hell happens to this big arm. Decided to end it all so soon. Open the doors, you die to radiation. Don't open the doors, die to the death engine shockwave. I decisions, decisions. Damn it, 2007 then. Okay. How did you get it? Luck, all luck. It is all luck. Half of everything is luck. And the other half. Fate. Oh, sugar, I've still got that door open. Uh, radiation, radiation. Uh, uh, Airwalk. Close that door. Decent. Oxygenate. My blood. <laughs> right, this thing. What? Did I. It said electrocution. But I also said the void of space. So what am I using this to do? Is it to hit the side of this uh, shuttle? See, that looks like the top of the shuttle, doesn't it? Because if we're facing that way, and that's the docking bay, then you'd think that that'd be the bit that you want to clamp the shuttle onto. Maybe no, though. Maybe it's the side of it. Station interior. Big arms coming out down the side. Maybe I'd just done something wrong last time. Maybe we should just catch a grip. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're back at the arm. I'm not going to swap it to auxiliary. I cannot let you use that manipulator. Agent, I enjoyed your bumbling, but enough is enough. Mining trajectory. Calculating force and catch. Oh, sugar, that's what did it. Wow. You're starting to get on my nerves. If you destroy my work, you're going down with it. Is she going to do it again? Get some oxygen back. Get some oxygen back. Right, so that's what killed me last time. We know now. We know now. And knowing is half the battle. What do you want me to do with this? You want me to use it towards me? Destroying this station will set humanity back a generation's worth of scientific progress. Death engine activation in five minutes. No, no, that smashed in my, my roof. 
<sighs> Damn it. That was me being careful as well. <laughs> Probably. You know what? That sounds... That sounds more intelligent than what I was trying to do. Right, I'm dead at this time. Note to self, There's a burst. targeting module needs to be recalibrated. Right. That engine activation has Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust the risk assessment calculations. Oh sugar. The chances Come back. of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. So gravity. Oh, not that yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. Uh... This is that engine commander Solaris. Clearance two zero R seven. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're oh, in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Dr. Zor, uh, what the uh, unexpected surprise. Obviously. That's hardly my problem, is it? I see. Yes. I can do this. I can do no. this. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'll take care of it, I suppose. Understood. Okay. I said I understand. Sure came a long way back. to accomplish nothing, Agent. At least that nuclear waste is definitely not my problem now. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. Okay, very clever, but now what? Only I know the combination to the lock and it changes all the time. You're always kind of fear that you're going to electrocute yourself when you're doing that back there. Or maybe it's just me. So, we did that, we got that open, now we're going to open the airworks and put in 2012. Just keep that off, you're draining the batteries. Sure, go ahead. A little radiation can't hurt. Oh, why not open the other door as well? I knew people wouldn't take z security seriously. Oh no, that was Airwalks, wasn't it? Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh my god. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm doing this. Give him a weird arm. This is honestly, it's minding me of uh, keep talking and, and nobody explodes. Like, think how stressful that was, smoking heads. I don't think we managed to ever finish it. Because we were going to kill each other. I think, I think that's what was going to happen. <laughs> it was leading up to uh, us having an actual fight in the Thunderdome, I think. <laughs> the Simon Says ones. Oh my goodness. They were heavy going. So, it was amazing fun. See, until it started getting incredibly complicated and people in the chat... <laughs> <laughs> People in the chat were actually solving things for us. Right, auxiliary time. <laughs> I suppose oxygen into my is not the worst oh, way yeah. to go in your situation. I cannot let That's you how powerful that it is, man. Agent, I enjoyed your bumbling, but enough is enough. Aligning trajectory, calculating force, and catch! Have we blocked it? Have we blocked it? Yes. Why won't you die? Because I'm for the future and I've seen this before. <laughs> Be a different timeline. Uh, so, airwalks are fine. We need auxiliary again and we're going to try and rip the nuclear hang off of that. Should I go into the instructions though? For the, uh, the electromagnetic arm. If you blow up the death engine, you're going down with it. No, no. You're going down with it. Access panel. 
then reactor, and then death engine, right? Alright, so we're going to try and use the arm to do this. Make sure the arm powers. Activate. Activate it! Big revolver also, a voice. Why, yes, I do have more. And oh my goodness. Catch. That's new. Didn't he do that last time? What are you doing? Right. Why must you be such a pest? Don't you realize messing with the death engine puts you at risk just the same? Yeah, it probably does. Oh my god! Right, 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 right. I don't think this arm is for that. Death engine activation. Ooh. What do you think you're doing? I'm just you messing a bit. The death engine is guaranteed to kill you. Oxygen will. Oh, I'm so glad that gave us that warning. I wasn't even reminding about the oxygen. Uh. So what are we doing there? We're we just going to put the. We're just going to put the big arm into it. I think it will allow us to do that. Pop the arm into the laser. Are you ready to sacrifice yourself? Because your odds for surviving this are zero. Major zero. I'm ready for trying to not smash myself with this and just pop the arm in there. That's not right, is it? Can I catch it? Think that's what I'm gonna do? Bravo. I don't remember the last time I said this, but uh, I've underestimated you. Sugar. So long as I, that beeping means sort it out. Right. Do you think that's what I have to do? Do you think I have to catch it and then pop it in there so that she kind of wrecks herself? Before she checks herself. Come on, chuck another unit at me. I know you're bad at risk assessment, so let me help you out. My death engine explodes, you die. No, definitely. It can't go any further in, I don't think. It can open it, but it can't do anything else. So, what else could I do with this thing? Any other power? Oh my god! Oxygen, oxygen. And she's gonna chuck a hang at me. Impossible! <laughs> ah. No, I'm doing this. I'm desperate for my dinner, but I'm doing this. <laughs> That well isn't it fair. Oh, somehow my hair's getting into the mask. Oh, right. Oh my god. Remember, Agent, the death engine must be destroyed at Adam any cost. It must be. Just a risk assessment calculation. Chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera feed? Ah, oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Doing this bit rapid, though. Rapid Dr. Style. Zor! Something exciting must be going on since you've decided to talk to me. Are you no, serious? 
How incompetent can ground control get? I understand. Fine. Well, well, well. You're far from home, aren't you, agent? To think that I almost removed that radioactive waste from your docking bay. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. <laughs> Impressive. If anything, I appreciate your efficiency. Open the doors. 2020. You die to radiation. Don't open the doors. Die to the death engine shockwave. I decisions, decisions. How did you get it? Luck. All luck. <laughs> Just keep that off. You're draining the bath. I cannot let you use that manipulator. Agent, I enjoyed your bumbling, but enough is enough. Aligning trajectory, calculating force, and catch! Ah. So you can't Why catch it, really. Die? Are you mad? Blowing up the death engine will kill you. I want to keep that thing floating about just in case I can shove that in there to stop the laser working. Did I know? Oh, it's sugar. <laughs> Plugged it in, but didn't they switch it on? Eh? How am I running the oxygen, man? Uh, right. Okay. Destroying this station will set humanity back a generation's worth of scientific progress. Oh, that's not the right one. force a habit there, going for the gravity one. Is that far-fetched as an answer, do you think? Try to use the... <laughs> Why, yes, I do have more. Oh, sugar. And... Catch! <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Anybody? I have no ideas now. No ideas. Now, I <laughs> know what. Now, what are we doing? If you blow up the death engine, you're going down with it. Maybe, actually. True, we've not used the toilet for anything, have we? Uh, right, I'm going to quickly get some oxygen in case she decides to attack me again. What have we got? We've got the drill. Um, we've got this. Gravity crystal. That's a good idea. Oh, sugar. What one is it? Auxiliary. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, about no. Bravo. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I said this, but uh, I've underestimated you. Okay. Right, so. Pop the thing in the, the grav crystal in the thing, yeah? In the toilet. Death engine activation in five minutes. That did seem to fit in there quite nicely, didn't it? Definitely closed. Are you ready to sacrifice yourself? Because your odds for surviving this are zero. I can see it. Oh, sugar, don't do that. Don't start doing that nonsense now. I need some oxygen. Right. Auxiliary. Is that one? Oh, she's gonna do it too, isn't she? She's gonna try and rattle me. She's gonna try and rattle me. No. You're starting to get on my nerves. If you destroy my work, you're going to. Yes. Down with it. What have you done? 
I've wrecked your work. That's all right. Is it though? Is it all right? You're a genius, man. <laughs> I screamed. <laughs> As I burst. Agent. Be seeing you. That's what they say in uh, John Wick, isn't it? That's got to be the last level, eh? Unbelievable. What a game. Honestly, I would not have got through that anywhere near as, qu I'm saying, quick. That was probably like five hours or something, but yous, uh, yous were the ones, the true geniuses, solving that. Like Those are so good, though. I'm going to have to look up these other people. Naomi Kyle, Anthony Daniels. <laughs> we know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, honestly, I love that game. It was so hard, but so well uh, put together, and the music, everything. Cheers, Darren Bot. Oh, why did I wait so long to play that game? I think I had it in my head that it was going to be... Here's the other performances. I had it in my head that it was going to be... difficult to play in my kind of setup, Like sitting down in that... on a, a, a couch. <laughs> right, I'm off. See you next time. Did no bother, headsman. Cheers for tuning in. <laughs> nice. I, I totally, I had it in my head that this was going to be like Job Simulator. I've only played like about half an hour because I couldn't do it in my, my play area, like where I'm sitting to play this game. But this one had, oh I hope so. I hope it will return. How could they top all of those levels though? By this game had the you know, you had the telekinetic implant, so you could move things about in that, and that really helps. You've finally done it, Agent. I You're have. dead. Well, officially dead. <laughs> Not to worry, this is a development we plan to fully take advantage of. I dare say it was a close call for us down here as well. Still, all's well that ends well, though I must confess, I really did expect you to die. <laughs> nice. What a game. So yeah, I didn't get any of the souvenirs there, but we did complete the game in a one-hour, kinda, with everybody's help. <laughs> that was mad enjoyable. I really do hope that they do uh, a sequel somehow. How do you top that though? Those were all classic kind of escape scenarios, like. Like, the underwater one was pretty solid. I want to show you the opening credits again, right? I know we we'll finished the game, but the opening credits were so damn well put together that I want to see them again. You ready for this? Do -do -do. No, I know that. Check this out, right? Just show how much style this game's got. It's like Metal Gear Solid titles. <laughs> Look at this. You must think you're so clever. Yous are so clever. Check that truck it. Can't escape me for We're playing a game. Look at these bullets. I take from you. Oh, it's perfect, huh? expect you to die <laughs> I know it's like James Bond but I expect you to die I said it was like Metal Gear Lavish Stylish Beautiful That voice in your ear 
chance to save you a mere puppeteer they only enslave you you're a piece on a board i bet with my wealth my armies of dreams your every success unveil still greater schemes a lake full of acid a drill from the sky if you try to fight me we'll watch your hooks die lasers and saw blades with sharks on standby The best. <laughs> I expect you to die. I expect you to die. When you finally see the worst side of me, will finally be eye to eye. I expect you to die. 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 Expect you to die. So I'm going to comfortably put that in the essential VR games list. Like, absolutely essential if you get the move controllers and you get the VR, get this game. <laughs> Good to see you back, Agent. Time to get to work. But yeah, cheers everybody for tuning in. Thank you all so much for your help. Thanks, Smoking Hadji's probably away for his sub, but I'll thank him anyway. <laughs> cheers, Potato Heed, Darren Bock, uh, Copy, Hex Adventure. I'm doing this by memory. We are looking. But who's all in still? <laughs> Four folk. Well done for sticking with it. Commander Root, Darren Bock, Hex Adventure. Edilara, Edilara, uh, works potato heed and rubber slayer. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you again soon. I'm going to go get my dinner and then I'm going to choose another game that I've been sitting on for a long time that I've not got around to playing. Hope you've enjoyed that even half as much as I did. And I'll hopefully see you again. If I don't, have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I expect you to die. Bye. <laughs>